Are we going yet? No, not yet. Okay. BTS cam. You got that right. Um. But also, if we're starting, I don't know. Did we start? Do you guys do like a start? Like, welcome. I don't no, know. You just natural. did it. That was that, that could hey, start it. Yeah. See a good start. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the dungeon. We got fun and games. Our buddy uh, Rick Glassman in the city. Woo! Fanny pack out. Hair's uh, looking nice and uh, cut, snipped. Moist. Yes. You, your, your hair can handle this weather. Yeah, I, I look at my cake, uh, hair like a cake. I like it to be, you know, moist. Sweet. And dark, I, dark. And I want to put it in my mouth. Yeah. 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 And I don't want to come all over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah fucking my hair. That's a porno site. Sitting on, girls sitting on cakes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I started it. Really? No, no, but it's a site. It's a, Oh, I mean, you like started watching it. No, it's a uh, fetish. Oh, is that you thought you may start it? Like, I just started watching Suits? Yeah. I thought you founded it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going for. Well, I get you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, man. Well, uh, it's great to have you here. <laughs> yeah, tell it to your face. <laughs> Should we let the audience in on what, what we said? What the fuck, I don't dude. know. At the beginning, Jesus. we walked in. I don't know if you reveal this kind of stuff, but you said sure. y'all just had done a podcast, and I just did a podcast, and we're all a little bit like, at yeah. least I am. Yeah. So you're like... Happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, podcasts are the new gym. Like, I don't even work out anymore. I just do pods all day, and then I'm, like, exhausted. Yeah. I often look at gyms like cakes. Like, uh, yes. I love them. You just can't have them too much, and I prefer when they're black. Yeah. <laughs> they're moist yeah. from the uh, the sweat before you. <laughs> Come all over them. Yeah. <laughs> when are we starting? Oh, no. Was that, oh, was that on for real? Yeah. Oh, man. We got to delete all that. No, I'm just Oh, kidding. my God. Good to see you there, Damn, buddy. That, that cum stuff could get you canceled. Oh, oh yeah. It's better coming than going. <laughs> they still have a place called Come and Go. Is, it, is it, a fanny yeah, pack? Yeah, I started it. <laughs> <laughs> is the fanny pack back? Oh, uh, it's back. It's, it offers a great utility, and I'm not going to decide what is back and what isn't when it offers mm. me stuff. I just did another podcast. My arms are tired, and I have external <laughs> hard drives. I have my sunglasses. I have my headphones. That's... You know, I don't, it's too little for a backpack, right. too much for my pockets. Mm. It's a uh, purgatory. You're in a limbo, gray area. Middle ground. Oh, Thank not like you. my cake. Yeah, cake. <laughs> that's, a, that's a no gray hair. <laughs> Good band. Yeah. Which one? Cake. Oh, yeah. They got some stuff. Oh, I love them. Yeah, they were good. They were good. Yeah. But what, what's going on here? Their ba baggy seems to be in. These clothes are flowier than a loose labia. Careful. Okay. You look very, you look hip without trying, I feel like. Oh, he's trying. Come on. You've been I forgot. All What's the name this? of this? Is this uh, Kill Tony? Why are we busting my balls? <laughs> no, this, no. I'm just saying. We're saying you look good. You look like cake. You know, moist. Black and you want to come all over me. Yeah. Yes. Edit that out. I don't uh, mind a white cake. What do you call that? Vanilla? Yeah. Yeah. You're just grabbing their tits? Yeah. I'm grabbing the cake. <laughs> I like this because this is unlike our other guests. Yeah. This is I'd a different so. energy and I love it. Did you like the other energy too? No. Yeah, well, well we don't we won't say who it is. Okay. <laughs> no, it was good. But his name rhymes with block morphin. I edit that out again. I had an idea. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying was. to do a name that clearly you're not gonna figure out who it is. Oh, but, okay, okay. I thought you know, if I said Mavid Wade, you would know who I was talking about. David Spade? I was thinking Dwayne Wade. Oh, jeez. We're all, we're all, all, our periods aren't synced. <laughs> Do me a favor, just yeah. for the sake of like people wanting to watch the rest of this, start it now. Thank you. Are we starting now? Cake. Wow. You could keep on it. All right. Keep it in. You heard him. Boys, it's good to be back. Yeah. Good, good to, to have be. you back. Hey, you got your own merch. Oh, yeah. Look at you. What and we're back. That's All not right. that's not the only merch I got for us. Uh -oh. You guys already have them, but I never gave you your own. So what might is as well this? do that on here because I told you about them on here. Not these gay cards. Yeah, I was gonna give you. Oh, one. All right. Don't we have? Isn't this what we have framed right here? Yeah. Oh, if you don't like, if you didn't want to set for yourselves, then let's not worry about it. I want a fucking set. I'll sell them at a pawn shop. Well, if you don't, I, I mean. No one's going to buy it. But I'll tell, I'd love to have the yeah, card. Yeah, we want yeah, I'll the, give it to you. Give us the fucking card, dude. Yeah, it's merch. All right, I'll take out my uh, vaccine card, and I'll put that in its place. We don't need those anymore. Who are you? I don't know. 
Do you know him yet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I know him. How would you describe him? Oh, jeez. What are we doing? <laughs> Therapy? This feels like couples therapy. If you were yeah. a pastry, how would you describe a him? A pastry? Okay, that I can A do. croissant. He's flaky. All right, He's I'll give you that. He's dry as shit. He's dry. Mm, I think it's been some more. He's only good in the mornings. <laughs> Uh, but I'm always happy to see him. Hey! How would you describe him as a pastry? A baked good? Well, bagel is the easy out, you know, <laughs> with the uh, semitism. Um, pause, pro, pro. But uh, let's see. But semitism go, nonetheless. Yeah, semite. You don't hear too much about pro semitism. No, you don't. <laughs> Uh, pastry, I would go, uh, English, no, no, that's not a pastry. I would yeah, go. Anything that's, anything that's baked. English muffin. Oven. English muffin. How so? Because it's a, it's every, you can have one every day, but it's also a little classier. Oh. You know? Thank you. But you could also put a uh, horse shit on it, you know? You could put, you know, uh, Cheetos and, and peanut butter. Okay. So you can go well, either what way. What kind of English muffins do you make? Yeah, I've never had Cheetos. Cheeto, peanut there. butter, yeah. English muffins? Well, muffin? I was thinking of something kind of down and dirty. I love an English muffin. Okay. You like a croissant? Yeah. I got into croissants maybe two years ago. If that, I never liked them because I don't really like butter and they taste buttery. Oh, that's the best part. Yeah. Well, I got into them and then I started eating them every day. Every day. Like, I was like, I want to go get a coffee. And I didn't always get a coffee. Four days a week. But I would always walk to the place. And I want to look at the croissants. Oh, yeah. Did you yeah. fart? Did I fart? No. You didn't just fart? Did you hear that? <laughs> I didn't hear it. His body just makes sound. I just, I said, I love croissants, and I'm looking at you, and I just hear, <laughs> I, I had a... It was the couch. There was a girl I'm seeing, and I farted, and uh, she goes, did you fart? And I said, no, but I did. Yeah. And I lied, you know? And then she yeah. goes, and then I was like, all right, I did. And she goes, well, now I can't trust you. And I was like, what uh... that, that, like, that's... You know, indicative of all of my behavior, like as if I cheat on her, right. and it's the same way I would respond to a fart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where she's like, "Did you cheat on me?" And I'd be like, "Yes." Right. You're would right. you rather tell her that you cheated than you farted? If you did both, I think you got to tell both. Mm. That's what she's saying. That's what yeah. she's saying. I get it, but I don't <laughs> think it's a different. Yeah, it's a different level. Different. The fart. Are you not comfortable farting in front of your girl? No, I am. I was just trying to be silly with it. You know, uh, is she cool with it? Yeah, but I think here's the thing. You should be comfortable with it, but you shouldn't get greedy with it. Oh, kind of like uh, with great point. power comes great responsibility. Absolutely. You're mm. like the Spider-Man. Yeah. Yes. Or the, the Venom. <laughs> Tysocards.com. I'll send you a picture. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I fart in front of the lady, and you're right. I get greedy. Sometimes I'm like... Rrr! Does she I'm, think it's funny? She does it with the first toot, and then if I really... Elephant Titus... That she's not into. Well, it's hard to segue that into being like, you want to go to the bedroom? Yeah, yeah. You can't. So you got to. You got to keep the romance alive. Yeah. As well. oh, we're not doing it in the bedroom. That's what I. That's what I let them fly. <laughs> the Dutch oven. Oh. I know it's childish, but it's fucking amazing. Is that, right. is that cultural appropriation? Yeah. To, to, to fart under the covers, if you're not Dutch. Good point. Huh. A little different with a Jew too. Yeah. A little insensitive. What do you mean? Well, there's some history there. <laughs> what are you saying? The Dutch. I yeah. love the Dutch. What were you saying about bagels? Ah, English muffin. No, but farting goes either way. I, uh, um, my girl and I, uh, we met. Um, What's his name? Oh, you said girl already. <laughs> what would it matter? You said that my cards were gay, that, that I'm gay. What do you have against gay people? I wish I was gay. Well, you can be. It is a choice. Edit that out. But uh, my girl Burp. or guy and I, uh, before we even met, because we met online and it's long distance and we would FaceTime all the time. Uh, what, how, what, uh, what app? Uh, it wasn't an app. You met on uh, Instagram? Just I went, I found her business. Nice. Um, uh, and by the way, her business, um, as far as this is concerned, is none your business. Oh. So I don't like giving too much away of my personal life. Is those, those nachos? Because this is nacho business. <laughs> okay. That was a thing when I was a kid. No, I remember. All right. Nacho there, cheese. Yeah. There's a, nacho there's a cheese. restaurant where I'm from, and they're called not so fries because they're not like your typical fries. Mm. And I would always think, like, whose fries are these? They're not so fries. Ah. Oh. Better than Nazi fries. Yeah. Those are bad fries. Mm -hmm. Very Nazi bad. Nazi fries. Not yeah. good. It's crazy. Burnt to a crisp. Yeah. All right. You know, I had a comic say to me recently, because I, I posted a clip where a guy said, perform Jew, and he, he's a heavier comic, and he goes, uh, do you, you get that a lot? what? He yelled out, perform Jew, trying to be funny. Oh, mm. and like I, a French you know, dip. 
I'm sorry. Ah, Jew. <laughs> yeah. Bless I'm, you. I'm, I'm, Bless really, um, I'm really feeling myself forcing a couple of jokes in here. Don't it's force. It's, but I, I want to make sure I, I have a safe space to force the jokes. Yeah, so you're, you're always a safe. Always safe. Go ahead. Use the force. I don't know if we've had one good one yet, but we're getting <laughs> But I want to hear about this. Uh... Well, he's a heavier guy, and he goes, you get the Jew thing a lot on stage. I'm like, no, no, it's very rare. And, and he goes, you know, because sometimes people will yell out at me that I'm fat. Ah. <laughs> I was like, what's different, isn't it? I mean, first off, there's never been a fat holocaust. True. You know, they'd be harder to hide. Well, if the <laughs> Jews are running, it would be a yeah. holocaust. Can we keep that one in? Keep it in. <laughs> Holla we've, bread. we've reviewed it. Yeah. I guess a personal trainer is kind of like a, a genocide for fat people. But you're paying for it. You don't pay oh, for a genocide. Yeah, I guess you're right. yeah, but we're still paying for it. We are. And it wasn't. that was not also not our choice. True. Good point. But Boy, the, you guys are obsessed with paying. Um, <laughs> huh? What are you doing? All right. Do sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Keep going. Can we? Can we do? Can we do? Uh, Rick is <laughs> bad first date. Rick, you're <laughs> you're great at improv. Can you do oh, a scene thanks. where you're? Mark is getting disciplined for making pedophile jokes. You work in an office. You're oh. the boss. So he's not a comedian. He's not a comedian. You're in a. You're in. A, you're HR. Okay. Right. Mark is. Uh, you work at a. Uh, Let's get a suggestion. Um, where does, where a, do I work come at? Out here. Where does he work? A law office. Got it. Law, Mark's Thank a you. lawyer. Yeah, they're perfect. I'm dude. a lawyer. I've been rewatching Suits. Um, well, I founded it, and uh, I get it. I get this stuff. So great. Okay. Uh, so uh, you will be an associate or maybe a junior partner. Sure. Uh, and I uh, am HR, or I'm an upper a lawyer that is like be a, yeah, be an upper status. lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm, you're, I'm the new Your guy. name's on the door. You're, yes. you're a big yeah, I'm, shot. I'm a name partner. Yeah, sure. I'm I'll, a name partner. I'll tell you, we had a couple of Girl Scouts try to sell us cookies. I'd like to get in that little box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, boy, we're pretty close to a playground, huh? Anyone else hard? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Halloween's coming up. Woo, baby. I'm going to have a big uh, chocolate bar for that kid. Real payday. Hey, Mark. Yeah, yeah. Have you heard my my pedophile stuff? It's it's doing okay. Yeah, we we've all heard your pedophile stuff, Mark. A couple of people in the office they've been talking. Oh, good. I'm getting some buzz going. Uh, and you've been making people feel uncomfortable. Oh, have they heard my stuff? It's it's pretty good. What what have you been telling? Oh, I got a bunch of uh, kid fucking jokes. Let me, let me hear some. I love Michael Jackson. Uh, I would kill. All, I, I wish I could have gone to Epstein's Island. That's actually not, that's okay. Okay, <laughs> but okay. it's still not appropriate for the office. Ah. And also, there's been a rumor going around here that. Um, Cindy, could you close the door for a sec? Oh God. Um, Mark, there's been a, a rumor going around that you didn't actually go to Harvard. <laughs> no, no, I went to preschool. Okay, there's the show. All right. What do you think? Wow, that was some pretty good. It's coming to Hulu. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ooh, coming to Disney Plus. <laughs> All right. So when, but when I first, uh, when my, my girl and I were first started talking, one of the first things we talked about before we met was, and it was silly, but like in, intentional and also mattered. Where are you with farting? Like, how are you with farting? Oh. I, I fart. I have to fart. Oh, good. And um, some people think it's disgusting. Some sure. people think it's hilarious and everywhere in between. Uh, I have noticed, and I, I don't think it's a coincidence, and my relationships over the years, they've all been okay with farting. Mm. And I think that's indicative of like, if you're not okay with farting, farts aside, I don't know if you'll be okay with me just expressing myself however I need to. Sure. Yeah. And she thinks farting's funny. She farts all the time. Wow. Um, lady fart. Uh, uh, very much a lady fart. Like, a, like an English muffin. <laughs> Nice. Very classy. Got it, Hers are got more. It. That was not a classy fart. That was a dying fart right oh, there. I that guess was, you're right. I guess yeah. you're right. Yeah, it was more of a puff. Yeah. And it's a hard stop. <laughs> it's a like cute a fart. Uh, no, they're just, dis- well, you know, she's wonderful and everything is wonderful, but they are, I mean, her, her farts are way stinkier than mine. Oh, that's a problem. But she she has great fart timing. Okay. She has great fart timing. She, she'll, uh, she'll get up and go... T- so are we hearing these farts? I'm hearing these farts sounds. No, but I got you. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. Wow, that's that's good stuff. Not bad. Yeah, that's right? solid. Very yeah. impressive. But she'll make a little joke out of it. She'll go over there and be like, I have to go make a phone call. You right, know, whatever her right. version of that is. And like <laughs> it gets a laugh. I know what she's doing. She does it over there. Yeah. I just I, I love my grandfather used to say it's better to belch and bear the shame than not to belch and bear the pain. 
Hey. And I subscribe to that very much. He was in the Holocaust. Yeah, he knows um, about gas. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right. But good for her. I wouldn't, my ladies let a few of those lady poofs go, and uh, it's off putting. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's a double standard there, but it is a little off putting. It'd the be, noise or the smell or both? The smell. Right. I can deal with the noise. I love a fart noise. No, I, I wonder because I like smell. her so much. Do you yeah. like really? your wife? I'm up and down. Right. I'm in and out, hot and cold, off and on, yeah. right. straight and by. But too much. It's like you said, you can't get greedy with the farts. You let one go at the right time. Hey, dad's funeral. <laughs> now nah, we're cooking. Funeral farts are solid. Oh. It's a lot of tension. Exactly. Yeah, they're right. It's an open yeah, you're casket, cutting the tension with a yeah. fart. Yeah, you can't do it. You know when they're they're putting the dirt on the casket, like at a Jewish funeral. Uh-huh. Don't fart at that moment. Right. A lot Unless of you have to fart out. at that moment. Well, yeah, then you have to. But, but that's why those poofs are good because they're they're a little quieter. So do you, you know Andy Cozell? I don't. He's a he's a L.A. comedian. He's uh, he said something once. I farted at Barney's Beanery or something, and it was oh, like it la- we got beanery. a laugh out of it. Uh, and he said, uh, farts have the best comedic timing. And I've always, like, when have you heard a fart? And even if you're grossed out, i like, it's funny. It's funny. Blazing Saddles was on TV yesterday, and I turned on right at the fart scene. Oh, the, the beans. The Nutty Professor fart scene. Fart scenes are funny. You can't. I think the fart, they said, was the first joke in, like, caveman time. It was like a guy's ass with a puff of wind coming out. I thought that was we adapted to speak. We used to speak out of our butts, and that was talking lines. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just talking out of your ass. Yeah, cut to a clip of Ace Ventura pet to, uh, Part 2. There you when go. When nature calls. All right. But yeah, farting with a relationship, it's kind of like the abortion issue. You, you yeah, go, you, you yeah. got to be on one side of it. Yeah. yeah. Are you pro-choice or are you uh, pro stink? Yeah. What would it I be? think it is like the abortion issue. I'm okay when a man decides to do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay. the, gov- the, we're, the government is in their ass now as well. Yeah. Right. Pro life. How do you feel when a guy farts around you and it smells? Are, are you, that, that's annoying, it, right? It's, it's look. One is funny. It's when you get greedy. It's we've been around the guy like Microsine's farts. Oh. They might be the worst farts I've ever smelled in my he, life. He ruins your day. He hot boxes you. They're in right. the room. They don't go. Usually they linger, then they go away. His, so, but he's always farting. You're saying? Well, foodies. You got. You got to think like people who love. Like, I love Chinese food, but you got to think, like, certain things you eat are going to make your gas smell. I mean... Yeah. Who said that? <laughs> uh, Plato? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you've been with those people, though, where you're like, what is your diet? Right. That, that this is coming out of you. While we're on diets, I'd like to follow up, because last time we spoke, that you were Pepto-Bismol all the time, and then I think I got you onto the peppermint oil. Are you... Did you, did you? We have a very interesting friendship. I feel like we're friends now, right? Yeah. What are you I, kidding? Absolutely. But it's such an interesting question that I'm actually flattered that you asked. Yeah. But I want to hear more about well, that. Well, the fact that you turned me, I was a Pepto Bismol guy to the point that it was in my rider. So Pepto wow. was in my. Mateo Lane, the comedian, once texted me, thank God I'm at this club after you because there's Pepto in the oh, green. Oh, he room wanted it and too. My stomach. Yeah. But I told him, mm-hmm. Rick Glassman turn me off pepto i'm doing the peppermint pills now ah. and much better natural it's it's better for you interesting and they work don't they but it's uh, how bad is your stomach how often are you because you uh, you asked if i had any when you came so in i today. have digestive enzymes on me so like I'm, I'm i'm trying to be more conscious of what i've learned what doesn't feel good for me hmm. um so i i'm doing a better job at what doesn't feel good well fried foods um, mm. Don't uh, I? I do have a. I've learned that gluten doesn't necessarily affect my stomach, but affects my joints. Like I get Whoa. stiff, and it, gluten causes inflammation for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. Um, so when I eat gluten, if I eat fried food, if I eat a dessert, huh? Um, wow, I'll take a lot it. of foods. That's why I try and limit them. Um, but when I do, I take a digestive enzyme, not necessarily peppermint pill. Once my stomach starts to not even painful, once I start to feel in my stomach or something, I'll take a green pill right away, and it's like magic. Really? Oh yeah. Is that the green pill? Is that yeah. What you, oh wow. IB guard. Yeah, it's good I, stuff. Which is like, out of all my sponsors, I want to get an, I want to invest into IB guard. Yeah. Like I, because I talk, I, I sell it. I mean, HIV guard. That's just a condom. But <laughs> I gotta get some of this for my wife because she's got the stomach of of uh, the Jewish people. Yeah. It's not pretty. May is not Jewish. I wish, but no, she'd be yeah. circumcised. 
but she's uh, <laughs> always got the stomach stuff. She's like, ah, oh, my stomach, yeah. uh, lactose, also, lactate. Also, listen, t- peppermint pill, great, but obviously she's, she doesn't know what's affecting her body. Like, Yeah, and the semen intake is overwhelming. Does, does she That's swallow great. a lot? That's really? wonderful. Oh, my God, like it's mayonnaise. Yeah. Um, that was part of his toast at the wedding. It was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we cheersed it. I Got took to some clip. too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That, I guess that would be a man's A's. Now, <laughs> would you say that she <laughs> gets stomach go. aches all the time, Hell or would you man. say that she has them uh, all the time? And she's shitting like a goose. It's wet. It's bloody. It's gay. It's wild. <laughs> Wait a minute. By the way, Jews like do not have good stereotypes. That like she's a goose. He said a goose, not a juice. Goose. Shit like a goose. Oh. You heard juice from goose? I heard juice. Okay. Yeah. Stomach of, he said stomach of a goose. Goose. Like, she shits like a goose. Ooh. But she has a stomach of a Jew. That uh, I did. That's forget. what I mean. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's the modern day Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> right. Stomach of a Jew. <laughs> face of a goose. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, what's her face looks like a goose. Um, what's her name? You know what I'm talking about. The lady. This... If we guess now, it's just going to be hurtful. Yeah. If we goose now. Yeah. Goose face. She's pretty, but she's got the face of a goose. I really? Know. Uh, what's his name? Who? Looks like Actress? One. Yeah, he just was, in a new movie. He was in Barbie, Ryan Goosling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Which one's my camera? This one? This one. Oh, Sarah. Jessica Parker? No, what no. Way, that looks she... like a goose you looked up. <laughs> actress. Famous actress. Maybe not Sarah. She's in the movie, but the... Um... The little boy, where they got they gave her some shit for being too weird because she's fucking a little boy. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Goose. You don't see goose? No. I feel like she's got a little goose face going. Put a goose up. Type in Jennifer Lawrence goose She looks goose like a face. goose? Hold on. A, a hot goose. Oh, we don't want that. Uh, well, I'm seeing. Right there on the right. I mean, she's very attractive. I think you don't see the goose at all. There's like a little neck thing going on. No. Oh, there she is. No, that's a goose. Oh, oh, okay. Got it. All right. Well, maybe it's just me. I see goose. I don't see the Do goose. Do you see geese in a lot of things? No, never. <laughs> this is constantly seen. No, no. The way you hear Jew, he sees ther- geese. Therapist scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, what a body. So, Mark. Um, Look at that goose. Come on. <laughs> there you go. We got it's just, That's just the worst picture of her. That's not. All right. I see a squawking white feathered goo. Goop. That's uh, Paltrow's company. <laughs> Vagina candle. Well, click on that one with the gray dress, by the way. That's just a uh, fucking hourglass if I've ever seen one. Hachi machi. Wait, who is that? That's her. Oh, wow. She looks good. Goose on the left. Hot on the right. That sounds like a lyric to something. We got, got goose, goose on, on the left. left. Hot, hot on, on the right. right. Squawking all day. And fucking all fucking night. Fucking all night. There we, now that's the goose with the short hair. Look at that. Come on. Yeah, she does look like a goose okay, in that one. Okay, we got a goose. <laughs> All right, Woo! you got me. It took a while. Damn, that All was right. like. That's I, the only picture of her. You are a good lawyer. <laughs> hey, that took you. a while, you but we settled. You don't want to keep you around. <laughs> goose and to the left. All right. So, I'm sorry. I cut I cut through there with the goose. What were you guys talking about? I was just saying my girl's fart timing is pretty good. Oh, fart timing. But let's talk about what you said that you think we're friends. Out. <laughs> <laughs> is it because you're not sure if I feel the same? I said I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. We don't talk a ton, but I feel like I'm always happy to see you. I thought it was a given. Yeah. You've done the pod. You've been in this green room. You've done our pod 900 yeah. times. You're, uh, we've done I think yours. that was what solidified once we're hanging outside a pod is, you know. Yeah. If you True. guys ever get Jennifer Lawrence as a guest. That's that's over now. Uh, I want you to... Uh, uh, get up and go around the room and tap everyone else's head and say duck uh, and then when you get to her uh, uh, see if she knows the reference i thought i had bad add this guy said let's get back to our friendship and well, then goes had, back to the goose thing he had the, the whole the goose lo- uh, joke locked and loaded he wanted no, to get it out no the go- duck duck goose just came in right oh okay maybe because friendship kids games right well maybe that was why don't you stop playing games with me dude oh what? yeah i just You're got playing goosebumps games. okay jeez <laughs> Good children's book. Goosebumps, remember that? R.L. Stein. Yeah. Oh, gee. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever books. finished a book that wasn't a Goosebumps, for real. There you go. What about the Torah? <laughs> I didn't finish it, but I did read my portion. Oh, okay. All yeah, about you fucking banged size. it out, dude. Atem nitzavim hayom kulchem lipnei aronei alhechem. 
Yikes, it's a beautiful yeah. language. Which means my stomach hurts. Do you have any green pills? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so because uh, our relationship, the, the my relationship with the two of you is, mm -hmm. uh, I think exclusively, with the exception of when we did Just for Last together a while ago. Oh, wow. Uh, which was 2013? Yeah. 14? That's uh, 10 is, years. Um, we was, were just back there. It was weird to be back. Um, yeah. Did you open with that or did you say good to be back? Weird to be back. Weird to be back. Weird to be back. Yeah. Uh, is, Sam. is um, podcast is our friendship. So like most of our friendship is like documented, if not all mm. of it. That's right. Except for that fucking. What was that? I was giving a high five to the mannequin. Oh, okay. But, uh... <laughs> so you're saying that we're friends the way porn stars who only fuck on set are lovers. No, I'm saying I understand why you would question that. Oh, okay. But uh, I have developed very... Both grown friendships and created friendships through podcasting. Um, where, like, I knew a, a person and now some of them have become, like, my best friends. Uh, you, We don't live in the same place, but, like, I feel like... I feel like we've absolutely become friends yeah. from it. Me too. Hold on, my uh, I'll get out of here. queefy friend alarm is going off. You that guys was done yet? That was beautiful. All but right. uh, but like, yeah, I don't know you outside. Like, we don't have an, I don't know you outside of performing. Yeah. You know? Like, even this, as low energy as it is. Low energy? I'm on my toes here. <laughs> it's funny because I believe you, and I'm just so used to being so fucking hyper uh, that I feel like... <laughs> I got to match you, ADD cunts. It ain't easy. I'm... I'm well, your uh, lawyer improv was good. Okay. Let's do another one. What, what should we do? I don't have improv. You're a master at it. I appreciate that, but really, I'm just here to, to, to facilitate, you know? <laughs> Come another on. Elephant? What? By the way, I went and saw a safari. Went into the safari. Elephants were the meanest animals. Everybody's like, the lions, what are we going to do? Elephants charge us every two minutes. Really? Do you think it's because you don't stop making fun of them? Maybe I did some weight jokes. Yeah, what happens next time you see Jennifer Lawrence? How do you think she's going to feel? Oh, man, she's going to peck me. Does that, is that weird to you that this shit will live forever and there is a chance you will meet her? I've hung out with her. Oh, at Schumer's thing. Yeah, at her wedding. Mm. She was half in the bag. So how, she won't remember. How, how'd she what look? What does that mean? She looked great. Oh, drunk? Does that mean drunk? Yeah. Kyle Dunnigan was all over How'd he do? Not good. He, he was trying to seal the deal with some Caitlyn Jenner? Yeah, yeah. He tried his Bill Maher. Okay. <laughs> okay, people. All right. <laughs> Why would you ever have kids? Okay. And then uh, he did his Biden. Do you think Bill Maher is condescending while he's fucking women? He's like, oh. really? Really? Dude, As wait, he, what are you saying? Uh, Bill, what? Huh? <laughs> oh, that's... And we have our cold open. <laughs> So what are you saying? What? Huh? It's like, dude, <laughs> what is this? I don't know. We're all over the road. But Bill Maher. But I was saying, what are you saying about Bill Maher? Are you talking about somebody's impression of him or are you actually talking about no, Bill Maher? No, Kyle Dunnigan like, does an incredible Bill Maher. Right. Have you never seen that? I have seen it. It's excellent. It's yeah. funny as hell. But he's saying, uh, is Bill Maher cunty while, or condescending while fucking? <laughs> I was trying to set up an oh, improv gotcha. for you, possibly. But... Oh, okay. You be Bill Maher. Okay. <sighs> oh, yeah. <sighs> I, I don't he seems know. all right. All yeah. right. He was, Bill Maher was nice. Okay. That was some good improv from both of you. I, I'm a big fan of his. He just had Riley Gaines on, the the swimmer lady who hates oh, Bill, nice. uh, whatever Tom. And yeah, I like, I like his show a lot. And she, Bill Maher's show? Yeah. yeah. Really. New Rules is... It's great. It's incredible. And his delivery of it and what he brings to it and also the writers of that... Are s I love it. I love it too. It's it, sometimes it gets me for real. I get like, fuck yeah, we need you know like real riled up. Like yeah. it's funny and and poignant. Yes, I'm yes. a Bill Maher show fan. Yeah, it's good. It's I like show. him too. He, he's smug as shit, but you 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 learn to love him. Um, I I watched uh, him with Bill Maher, uh, Bill Burr. Oh, that was weird. That was an uncomfortable one. That's yeah, my and point. I asked it's... Bill about it because and. Hand. Oh, sorry. Hand. Job. Um, because I'm uh, because Bill Maher often on his show, and I understand it, but he seems to have an agenda against ageism pretty strongly. He does hate that. Like, not 
you know what that I mean I don't need to explain what ageism means right of course right? yeah um we hate so, agents uh <laughs> <laughs> turn it off dude all right sir and um Bill said something uh, about like there are different generations or I don't know 15 years apart or whatever and he goes you're there was such contention between Bill Maher, like with the age stuff. I don't even remember what it was, but I'm like it was kind of like we went like it was, and Bill thought no, no, everything was fine. He thought it was totally comfortable. Yeah, but like, is that I was a little uncomfortable watching. Yeah, it. you saw it, right? Yeah, it, the, and I obviously they're both you know different and great bills, um, but it was like uncomfortable, and Bill didn't feel it at all. Which is I, weird. I read it a little bit as I think with a stand up, Bill Maher is a little insecure because I think he thinks he's one of the greatest stand ups ever. He says that. He openly. says that. And it's, I mean, come on, there's no world where he's in the same <laughs> class as Bill Burr. It's it's insane. I, I mean, I agree. As a stand up, I'm saying, I, you know, as a, his as show a is terrific. Host. Yeah. Right. But I think there's a little insecurity and he's a little feels challenged by a guy like Bill Burr. That's how I read it. He, it's his show, so he was kind of, he kept interrupting him. He was kind of trying to alpha Burr a little bit. That's how I, I read it. I felt like Burr is so good at getting back in and you can't, you can't fuck with him. So it was awkward. I mean, with Burr, yeah, I, I, I thought he was trying to big dog him a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Maybe. I have very And it's just not going to happen. You're just stuff. not going to pull that off on Bill. He's too not, quick not and he's Burr. too confident and he's too good. It's, it's not going to happen. And he's kind of pulled to like, what are you doing, man? You had me on your show. You won't let me talk. And Mar has to go, ah, geez, all right, all right. It was on Bill's show. Bill Unless they, they both did it. I didn't watch. Are you talking about on Bill Burr's podcast or Bill Mars podcast? It was on Real Time. It was on HBO. Oh, we're talking about two different things. Oh, I didn't even see wait, that. He's on the pod? Bill Maher came on Bill Burr's podcast. Is that right? Yes. How did I miss that? Pull that up. The uh, audio only. And uh, Right? I don't know, whatever. Well, he doesn't have video. But uh, yeah, he does. But it was weird Bill? again. You're saying because because Bill Burr came on my podcast right after that, so I and, cut to a clip of it. And he said, what? and it was it was weird again. Bill Burr didn't say it was weird. I thought it was a little contentious. Well, he's not going to admit to. It he being seemed weird. to. Bill seemed to be being honest. Oh, it is on video. I guess they started doing. Oh, I got to listen to this. When was this? Twenty two. Oh, this is a, almost a year old. Jeez, I'm out of the loop. Loop, um, loop, loop. But uh, yeah, so age, you know. Keming, turning. I mean, if you want to leave this shit in the podcast, go for it. But I holy shit, yeah. I almost fell asleep. Yeah, well, it was your idea. Yeah, I dropped the ball. All right, <laughs> well, you, you took a risk. I get it. I'm feeling stellar. This has nothing to do with me. This yeah, is it's weird. just searching stellar. Yeah, that ah, Google stinks. There's some real idiots over there in Silicon Valley. Are you guys worried about AI taking yeah. over uh, comedy? I'm worried about AI. Period. Yeah, I mean, it's all it's all going to be a period, I period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm worried about it, man. No, yeah. it's. Uh, I think we got a good five years left, so we better <laughs> we better live. I think tour, cash tour like a motherfucker. Cash is going away too. Yeah, that worries me. I like cash. What do you like about cash? Well, the freedom of it under the table. You can play a dice game. You can snort a line of coke. You can give it to a stripper. You can you can you can break the rules. We're, we're on the grid, but the illusion of being somewhat off the grid with cash is kind of fun. It's nice, and we're gonna talk when it goes away. We're gonna be like, man, we had some good times. But aren't you? With cash. Got, but you could do that with with uh, crypto. Yeah, it's it's invisible. Well, I like to hold it. I want to slap it on my hand and give it to a hooker. Gotcha. Were you into hookers when you were single? No, I've actually never. I fucked one, but she didn't charge me. She's good. Oh yeah. So she so loved the therapist. Hope not too much. No, I, I love. Are you sexually attracted to her? No. Come on. On what? Is she on the couch? Oh no. Um, no, I'm not sexually attracted. To her. I just love. I love therapy. Hmm. I love therapy. I like it too. I love yeah. asking questions. I love people asking me questions. Yeah. I like finding patterns and things that I couldn't see before. I like yeah. learning intention. Also, like in trauma moments, like I like somebody to talk to to like help sure. help me self soothe when I can't get there. Here, here. I'm a big therapy man. Same. I like it. But I feel like you get the tools, you learn what they, they tell you Absolutely. what's what and then I don't need to go back. So I, I uh like I don't go every week all the time. I'll take months off. Yeah. And then I'll go back every now and then for a little and then there's sometimes where I notice something that like I need to work on. Uh huh. And I'm like, hey, like ask like collaborating with somebody like hey i'm gonna come in and then i'll go in once twice a week for a couple months kind of like loading on a new supplement or something yeah but you can, i think it bothers them when you turn them into a part-time gig a little bit 
I, they don't I'll like let you it. speak for, for my therapist. Go on. Yeah, I will. I'll speak for it. I don't give a fuck about your therapist. What about people that, that go to comedy shows sometimes and then they stop and they go again? Mm. It's not a weekly thing. I think they expect you to go. I'm, I do it too. I'm saying I think I don't think they like it. Yeah, they don't like it when I do it either. You think because it affects their product or they're not making the money they want? Probably. I think they're both like, I'm not a fucking mechanic. This is not a tune-up. But 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 it is. It but absolutely it is. is a tune-up. I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm saying I agree with you like guys. Like when, you, when your car's in a lot of distress, you go a lot more. And then when it isn't, you still go get your oil fixed. Uh, yeah. Changed. I'm sorry. Changed. Changed. You get your oil changed. I just fucking, you can't say anything anymore. Yeah. You get your oil changed or whatever. Yeah, but sometimes I, I disagree. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, if they want us to come more, then they should start fucking our lives up. Yeah. You know, you're going to have to go behind the scenes. and They want me to come more. they got to keep talking about my mom. <laughs> there we go. Count it. I don't remember this. You have mom issues. I'm in therapy, I know he has I? parent issues. You don't have you? mom issues? I didn't know. Everyone that. has mom issues. The only mom issues I have is the fact that I we don't live in the same state, so we can't just laugh and talk all the time <laughs> in person. Still breastfeeding. I'm so yeah. close to my... I mean, I suck. No, no. I, we're close. It's not bad, but it's like there's still issues. Go on. Um, Tell me more. How's that make you feel? She raped me. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I see it now. Yeah. Not that she raped you, but you couldn't even give one example. <laughs> we were being sincere for a while. Ooh. And, and you, you, much like the way you improvise, <laughs> you go, you heighten too quickly. So there's Damn. nowhere to go. That's your version of shutting it down. Wow. You think I heighten too quickly? Oh, buddy. If you had a nickname, it's heightens too fast. Damn. Yeah, that's and I'm not talking American about your stand-up curated. I'm talking about when you came on. I remember when we were improvising and like really doing it for real. We were trying to have a real scene, and we were and we established something, and then you just go, and then I raped her. I'm like Sam, let us split in this for a little he's, bit. He's got a point. You wow. notice this? You're a heightener. You're a heightener. Hey, well, I, I'm I'm short. I'm a shortener. You're, I'm like a cake. you're also a heightener, Mark. What's going on? What, what what have you learned as an adult that you didn't know as a kid with your relationship with your mom? I think there were some tendencies that uh, that she uh, could be judgmental and overbearing in ways, and that translated towards she's a very loving mother. Yeah. Her, and of course, he would say, "You feel like you have to qualify this before even critiquing her." But you no, know, I, obviously, you love and respect your mom, and of you, course, you, I get yeah. that. Yeah. And a distant father throw that in the well biological pattern. father was yeah. distant. yeah my dad yeah, raised me was good yeah um right. you're close with your with your stepdad yeah I yeah am. uh and your mom judged you i don't think me i think other people i think like women in my life like uh, i know my mom the, i've got some texts from mom from your mom that were pretty judgy how about you <laughs> it's like i hate when he does this i hate this yeah no she'll she'll spread it around no she, she agreed with this assessment I think there's a part of her that, like, she definitely respects my stand-up and respects that I built a career of this, but yeah. I think I think she wishes I was a humorist. Uh, I think she wishes I was, like, a New Yorker shouts and murmurs type of comedian right. rather than Why? a... Because I think it's, like, classier and less... Like an English muffin. Like an English muffin. Thank you. Well, you're yeah. very well-read. You're uh, cultured. Are you? Have you read yeah. Say Cheese and Die? I haven't. Oh, it's a great Goosebumps. Damn. Oh, I actually... I might have read that back in the day. Ah, How about Camp, Camp uh, which is the win uh, Camp one? Yeah. Camp the, with a, with a, with a, there's a camera, right? I don't know. Wasn't there a camera something? Uh, Jews love camps. No, that must be the Say Cheese and Die one. Camp the Nightmare. Camera. Right. I, I remember this. I think that's a concentration camp. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Right. That would be a weird R.L. Stein yeah. departure. <laughs> well, it is just, scary. Just a fucking holocaust. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, wow. We're getting somewhere. Keep going there, Dr. Glassy. Um, what were we talking about goosebumps for? Why did that even come up? What, what well, were we it said she looked like a goose. Oh, humorous. And duck, duck, too. goose, no, goosebumps. No, okay. No, yeah. Yeah. no uh, she she likes. Uh, I think she, that's more her avenue. But yeah. I, but she does. I mean, she laughs at the show. I've definitely seen her in the crowd before, where she'll do one of these. I go into like a diff, a, a joke she doesn't like as much. I see one of these. Uh, and I'm like, you sat too close to the stage, so I can still see you doing that. Yeah. Before I started stand up, I went. I. I I went to, I feel like I talked about this on a podcast once, and if it was this one, because I don't know why, but anyway, I'm feeling insecure about repeating something on your pod, but... Lay it on me. Uh, I went to the Las Vegas Comedy Festival. Uh, my uncle does lighting and stuff, so like he got me in, and I wasn't even doing stand-up yet, but I got to be in the green room and wow. see all this stuff. It was very exciting, and I went, I saw Seinfeld and Chris Rock, and uh, I, I went to the Chris Rock... Um, uh, 
uh, sound check in the, at the Coliseum at, at Caesars, and there wasn't very many people in there. And he was up on stage, and he goes, uh, "Make sure my mom sits." At, and he said, like at a certain row. And at the time, I even got it, and I wasn't even doing it because he didn't want to see her reactions to things. Maybe she reacts good. I don't know, but you just don't. You know, I you don't, don't want to see your people. mom. Yeah, but just even it's at always, that level, he's it's like, insane "Don't put my mom when they, there." When they yeah. see someone you know, I'm I'm really, like, like I'm not gonna. Force crowd work, but I might want to do crowd work forty five minutes into the set. Sure, and then it's like you're doing crowd work. Like, what are you doing? You're like, oh, that's that's Rob. Yeah, it's a friend of mine. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. you feel like you're phony a little bit because you're performing a little, so you feel they they know what you're doing. The whole thing sucks. Yeah. So, what do you think your mom uh, <laughs> your mom judging you has to do with you? Because you you're you're you both are, but just speaking for you, you're a I'm gonna lean into this type of guy. Mm-hmm. You lean into the thing, and that could be like you know like pushing back and you know like being competitive and do you feel like when some uh, an audience member is heckling you and or you're on a premise that people aren't yet on board we're like hey fuck you and this leaning in thing is that because they're judging you no i think that's because if i do a joke that's kind of like a lean-in type of joke you can't you can't do like a half c abortion joke Mm. You can't. You can't do like a what abortion joke? Yeah, I'm on the fence. You have to go. You have to lean into whatever the premise is, right? Or, or the joke isn't funny. I mean, like, it's, same with a comic. Like, look at a comic like Anthony Jeselnik. If he if he took any of the sting, Could you type at, in Anthony Jeselnik, but if you, like a goose and see what happens. <laughs> uh, if you if you took any of the sting out of his punchlines, it just wouldn't be as funny. If there right. was any lack of certainty, it wouldn't be as funny. You well, know? it's well known that his mother judged him. Images. <laughs> he is German. Uh, there's a little goose going on I here, by the it. way. I don't think so. I, nah, I'm just kidding. What He's a very uh, handsome man. <laughs> He's a handsome guy. Yeah, the silly goose, maybe. Hey, there you go. How about you? Do you, you uh, what made you be a comedian? The the molesting? Yeah. The diddle? Now, what's funny about that? Well, I'm heightening. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Should have done good. that to the camp counselor, not me. Yeah. Uh, well, that's an R.L. Stein story, if I'm not mistaken. That's true. Yeah. Came nowhere. Yes, yes. Uh, I used to. Uh, uh, I have a lot of things. Scout to make... master Vader. All right, sorry. Keep it's going. Okay. <laughs> um, I would uh, tell jokes to um, be would able to slow the sound down. What are we doing here? Come on. Put some well, life into it, Greeny. I, I was tapping into something that felt real, right. and I was What is this, inside the actor studio? Yeah, out with it. Yeah, PBS over here. Hit it. Um, I don't know if you really want me to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We, well, want, we want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Well, then maybe give me a little bit of All a All right, sorry, space. sorry. You can do it. When I was little. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was didn't have... Um, Feeling in your legs. Never mind. Don't, don't All mind. right. Well, the pod's over. Come on. Get it out of there, hairy arms. <laughs> what are you What are you playing? Incredible Hulk, sad walk away. <laughs> Damn, we, we don't need Salakus at all. Peters is already yeah, killing it. Bill Bixby over here. What good pull. And um, I had a hard time. <laughs> yeah. With what? Just fitting in and, and having friends. My brother was popular and, yeah. and had a lot of friends. And I always just felt out of place, you know? Sure, wow. sure. And um, that must have been very hard for you, Rick. But you're tall. I wasn't. Oh. Could have used some height. I wasn't tall yet. Oh, uh, yeah. I was small. I was into science and nerdy shit and... I got hit by a gamma ray. Oh, oh no. Or as you would say, a gamma gay, because that's your brand. <laughs> wow. And I. Push it. Uh, I was a boy. Mm. I was young. I felt a fool. There should be someone there to hold. <laughs> my hand and trust <laughs> that was love. <laughs> oh, 
Whatever. No. <laughs> and see. No, wow. You guys, you guys, wow. You guys are going to make fun of me. I was the nerd, waterworks I was nerdy, just nerdy came boy. out. <laughs> yeah. The commitment boy. there was unbelievable. That was. Woo. And wow. then, uh, yeah, then I got Bobby Lee on the pod and realized, hey, maybe there's something to these jokes after all, you know, because he brought a good amount of audience to the to my podcast. And then I, you know, started getting in there with comics. Yeah, comics saved yeah. the day. Because yeah. for me to fit in, I was much like yourself, didn't fit in, weirdo. But you start finding booze. And that it was a nice lubricator. You mean, heck, you mean like, like bombing and people booing you? Yeah. No, no, that came later. I'm talking about the high school. Yeah, gotcha. yeah. You, know, you find boo booze was a nice uh, social lube, and then you meet some weirdo friends, and then you're off and cooking. You're both drunks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. There what you if you go. had to stop drinking today? Where does your happiness and where does your career go a year from now? Probably better off in the long run, but that few first couple of months would be. You think it's just a couple months? Yeah, I'd have the DTS. What if shakes. your wife said, if you stop drinking, she'll go on an elimination diet? What does that mean? She'll she figure dies? out an el elimination diet. You figure out, you get off all the things that people are commonly intolerant to. Uh, oh. you know, like nightshades. and This is the most Jewish dairy. fantasy about a guy's wife. Oh, yeah. That... Hey, uh, yeah, does, does your girl, has she ever got on an elimination diet? I don't even know what that sounds like, genocide. And then you come back in, uh, and then you reintroduce new foods, and you find out what is upsetting you. Oh, she did that. And, and she's still... Well, she, shitting like she, a Jew? If I know women, goose? they'll find something to be upset about. Am I right? <laughs> I'll tell you, these women, they're all right, they're all right. Yeah, yeah, she did one of those tests at the hospital, and they said you can't have soy, you can't Yeah, have but dairy, that's, that's, that's not real. That's, oh, really? No, the, you got to actually do it. Like, I feel like going <laughs> and getting blood This is a great analogy. You have to trust me. I'm listening. Getting blood work to figure out what you're intolerant and allergic to is like... All uh, right, all right. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Mm. I had a great one. Hold on. I know, you finally got that energy up. Oh, oh. Yes. Uh -oh. He's coming, dude. Oh, yeah. Hell right. yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's coming. First orgasm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Don't make fun yes. of it. Yes, <laughs> he's oh, coming. Shit. Don't make fun of it. First oh, orgasm shit. on the pod. Whoa. Except for maybe Miss Pat. <laughs> oh. Thank God your pants are white. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot what it was. It was such a fucking good one, dude. Wait, wait. So the diet, don't have soy, don't have gluten. She got went to the hospital. Something about coming in your pants? Yeah. You came everywhere. Well, anyway, when they get the test and it tells you about some stuff, yeah. it's like, that's the ch that you got to really do it. You got to get off the food. Yeah. Well, she's doing that now, but she's going off the list from the hospital. And she feels better. Yeah. And uh, inflammation went down. Oh, yeah? She was huge. Really? Yeah, oh. it, was, it was a problem. We were going to do an intervention. Yeah, but she, rascal. But she, yeah. she slimmed down just in the nick of time. Yeah, it was getting yeah. scary. It was, we were worried. I had the divorce papers ready. I had a lawyer on the, on the line. We were concerned. What was your lawyer's name? Uh, Fat, get rid of her. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So, nice. Uh, have you met, have you met that? Oh, Harvey Specter is, I'm a, is unbelievable. He's really? in the city. Oh, okay. Yeah. Related to Phil? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Spectre. Barely knew her. Well, oh, you beat me to it. Well, you know, Shit. I'm quicker than you, you God. fucking son of a bitch. Pull up Harvey Specter. Uh, you guys might know him. He's he's really good. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, Suits. that guy's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was banging Markle for a hot minute. No, you're thinking of Mike Ross. I see. What is it? Stop living on coffee and energy drinks. Over half mm. the human body is made up of water, so you should probably drink more of it. Liquid IV has you covered. It's the number one powdered hydration brand in America. One stick of Liquid IV is 16 ounces of water, and it hydrates you. Sorry. One stick of Liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates you two times faster and more efficiently than water alone. Mm. With three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks, eight vitamins, nutrients, and now a sugar-free option, you can't go wrong. I use this. It helps with a good hangover. Oh, yeah. It's uh, good flavors, too. we got strawberry lemonade, tro tropical punch, sea berry. There's one for every mood. Definitely. Big fan. Just keep it at the house. Yeah. Real people, real flavor, real hydration. Now sugar-free. That's my fave. Grab your liquid IV hydration multiplier, sugar-free in bulk, nationwide at Costco, or 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code DRUNK at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you use promo code DRUNK at liquidiv.com. Mm-hmm. Here, here. 
All right, folks, we're doing it. We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Doer. Stop deciding between comfortable or stylish pants. Get the pants that look great and feel great from Doer. I love these pants. I got some cool shorts. They sent me a a long pair, and they're fucking comfortable. They're nice. They fit perfectly. I wear them, like, all the time. They're great. Great jeans. I'll send more if you guys Please. are listening. I, I would love a darker pair as well. I'm walking, rocking that light blue. Oh, yeah. I got the gray, and that, that stains easy. I look like uh, Lewinsky out here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, they're great on a plane. They're just so comfortable. Yeah. Love the doer, and we run around town all over, all over the place, so we need a nice, cool fit to look good and feel good. Style your doers up or down, whatever whatever the fit is. Doers denim has five times the stretch of traditional rigid denim and are designed to keep you cool, dry, and any temp and antibacterial for easy care and less washing. My girl must be wearing them. She's very dry. <laughs> made for materials like wood chips, plants, and recycled bottles. Wow. Doer has finally made sustainable clothing that's long-lasting and stylish. Trust me, you haven't felt comfort till you put on a pair of Doers. Check out Doers flagship stores in L.A., Denver, or get them online. Shopdoer.com. And our listeners get 15% off site-wide using code DRUNK for 15% off your order at shopdure.com. Use promo code DRUNK and save. Shopdoer.com, promo code drunk. Dude, you, you misspelled it, I think. Oh, did I? S H O P D U E R. Oh, you're right. S H O P D U E R.com. Yeah. Boy, she's kind of on the outs. Oh, yeah? Why would oh, you well, say she, that? I feel like she was hot news for a minute. She was on Oprah. She had a Netflix special. She's uh, the, got all the victim status from being half black with the queen, and now everybody hates her. Man, it's it's tough being royal. Yeah. Flush. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys know that song where it goes, I want to be royal, royal, royal. Lord, yeah. She said it best, man. Yeah, she's fucking good, dude. Queen B. She's fucking good. So we're all, we're all fucking comics in our mid to late 20s who are in relationships, right? Yeah. Yeah, bro. You got that right. It's not easy being a yeah, black guy. Yeah, you my fucking burps, dude. I'm I'm tearing this shit up. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going crazy today, dude. Mm-hmm. If you could have anybody's voice, yeah. literal voice, yeah, whose would you pick, and what would you do with it? RFK Jr. No, um, <laughs> R. Kelly, but I'd also want to say what he was feeling. Let me. We'll put this through a modifier to make yeah. it sound like R. Kelly. Go Auto tune. Oh, what, I, what does he feel? I didn't know this was going to go any further. Hey, you got to heighten. Fuck, dude. Hey, we're not your mom. Fuck you, dude. You are my mom. <laughs> yeah, because we're Fuck you, you, man. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. you. You see the audience as your mom that serviced you for a while because you learned Why don't you service joke. me? Why don't you put your fucking mouth Pull on your my pa- dick? I'm not even joking. Pull your pants down. I'm not joking. I'll suck your dick right here. <laughs> Prove it, witness. <laughs> Pull your pants down. Unless you're... <laughs> Too... Chicken? Woo! <laughs> you may think Jennifer Lawrence looks like a goose, but I see a chicken right over here. Oh, bagar, what? Bagar. Fuck. Don't lay an egg. Oh, oh. Ah, <laughs> Are you afraid your mommy doesn't want to suck your dick? <laughs> oh. What the fuck, dude? Jeez, that was a little over the line. That was fucked up. You don't what think do you my mom right wants now? to suck my dick? Tom, what does that bring up? Rejection. How so? That you know you want, hey, I, like I don't. Hey, it's like a wedding please, invite. I don't want her to suck my dick, but I want the please, option. Please. Good know? point. But how would it make you feel to know that your mom would judge you if you wanted her to suck your dick? You don't want a mom job. <laughs> to wear an apron. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. What do you Maybe think? I want my mom to suck me off, dude. It's not the first time your dick's been in her because she made you in her stomach. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking deep, dude. Uh huh. Isn't that weird? Your mom made your dick. Yeah. That's a mind twister. She's the oven that made this English muffin. Yeah. Good merch. Yeah. Huh? Good merch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My mom's the oven that made this English muffin. It's kind of yeah. long for a t-shirt. No. Well, you only do it in large or bigger. All right. Well, okay. This was, this was fun. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Woo, this has gone eight different ways. Yeah. Up, up, you can down. make this Patreon only if you want. No, I think this is good stuff. There's something here. If the audience could stay with it, there's something here. 
I right, challenge you, you. You guys, you you take the you 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 take take. All right, all right. Well, it's good to see. You. I'll answer some questions, or you could ask me like questions about like, like uh, you know whatever you do, and then I'll like listen to what you guys have to say. All right, all right. Well, you you, you like this Lizzo stuff? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not. Uh, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care either. I care a little. I mean, I care about so little. I know. And that's what's an interesting thing when we're in a business about having strong points of view. Yeah. In order to be authentic, I'm being sincere. In order to be authentic, to find things that you actually care about. Yeah. It's true. You know, it's it's not the deepest well. And to tell jokes or to write stuff about things. That you care about. No, but that you don't care. Just because, like, you know, we do this all the time. Right. And to come up with things or to talk on podcast about, like, uh, uh, no. But you think you have to care about the thing to write yeah, a joke I, about it. If I, I think that I think that to write jokes about stuff I don't care about is so draining, and I start to I, I felt myself resenting doing this. Is that why all your jokes are about uh, raping children? <laughs> He's just joking. <laughs> That's what joking. you care about. I don't I don't care about so. We well, don't care about much. them, but <laughs> I care about them. But I'm not doing anything to stop it. True. I mean, if I saw it happening, I was walking around last time I was visiting here. I was in the city and there was two kids. I'm making this age up a give or take two years between 10 and 12. Okay. And they were playing by the, uh, the whatever that happened, you know, ground zero. What's the tower called now? Freedom Tower. Freedom. And there's like a, a fountain by there and they were playing in there with like <laughs> the water and stuff and they were running around and they were black. Mm. And there was a <laughs> older. Really, this is getting more, no, more no, dicey here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they were black. And there was an older white man who was taking videos of them. Yeah. And they never acknowledged each other. And Kevin Spacey was there? Oh, dude. <laughs> all right, all bro. right. Bro. Dude, bro. And uh, I we were, I waited, and I didn't want to go up and say something. because sure. Just because there's black kids and a, and, a, and a white old person doesn't mean that they're not, you know, what, what did my Angelou say? Black kids and white older people go hand in hand? As yes. Well, sure, well, they make you feel. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Um, but I was watching to make sure for a little bit, because, like, is this inappropriate? But like, oh no! They, I realized they were together because they had something in his bag. But I'm uh, saying, like, if there's something that's happening inappropriate, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do what I can. Would to help you have watch. fought that guy? I, I wasn't thinking I had fought, but I did have enough adrenaline in, like, I'm ready to go up and say what's going on here. Wow! Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, what have you said? Just fucking. I'll be the old man. You, okay, this is how you, you, you be. You be two little kids running around playing water, Wee. and you be the. You be you, and I'll be the old man. Yeah, and I'm just watching. Woo. Okay. But hold on. But, but, hold hold on. on. I have a question for you. Yeah. Wee. Doesn't matter yet. Yeah, oh. yeah. Hold on. I'm black. Woo. Oh wait, yeah. Hey, let me do this. Hey, yeah, we're okay. playing the water. Okay. I'm a little kid. Ooh, yeah, that's yeah. good stuff. That'll Ooh, do just kids. fine. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's the stuff right there. Oh yeah, I'm black. Oh, I can't fuck. swim. Oh, spank bang for later, for Here we sure. Go. Excuse me. I'm gonna, yeah. Excuse me. Well, I'm I'm in the middle of something. Are are you? Is this is is this your friend or per person? This is my dad. Oh, this is your dad. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Pardon me. I was just looking because yeah. it felt a little inappropriate because you were saying, ooh, ooh, yeah, like that. Okay. How I how I fuck my kids is none of your business. Yeah, we like it. Shame on you. Yeah. Shame on you. Uh -huh. Nine one one. Oh, we got you there, oh, Dad. Oh, man. You think they can stop me? I donate so much money to that precinct. I donate to their fucking ball, and I'm happy to help, too. But they're not going to do shit to me. They know this happens. That's how corrupt the fucking NYPD is. Mm. Are you all right with this? I love it. <laughs> well, he does it so well. That's why I'm in the fountain. I got to clean up. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you for your concern. Absolutely. You, yeah. Please leave us alone. Absolutely. I'm going to take them back. And that to would be about the extent. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. this but is the aside, But jokes aside, jokes aside, I, 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 when you see stuff sometimes, like, like, uh, if something. you see something, say something. Yeah. And I, 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 I have. What's going on here? What You've is done this? that? Yeah. Not always, not always like kid something, but if there's something that's inappropriate. I remember once, it's, it's, I mean, the stakes are so much lower, but I hate smoking. That's, I know it's an opinion. Weed uh, or cigarettes or what? Well, wait, now, see, you do have opinions. I have opinions, but I'm saying if, if it's stuff that I don't, this is something I do care about. There you go. But well, that's stuff all that you I need. don't care about, like the Lizzo shit. No, I was just, I was just fucking around. But yeah, smoking, cigarettes, it's, I mean, dude, it's not 98. Stop. 
Right. But if you're going to do it, do your thing, but not by me. Like, I'll be even with friends, and if we're walking, we're smoking a cigarette, I'll say, hey, I'll either go on the other side or ask them to switch hands and blow it away, or I'll just go, get the, f it's gross. It smells, I hate it. Yeah. That being said, that's your thing, go do it. But there are certain boundaries that I feel are, should be universal. And I remember at the comedy store, there was a guy that was smoking, and he was walking in, and he took a hit right before he walked up the steps into the original room, and he just threw the cigarette on the ground. On the on the floor? <laughs> on the ground. Legend. And I uh, I went up to him. I said, excuse me. Uh, oh, God. I said, I think you I think you dropped your cigarette. Like, a little passive aggressive of getting the benefit of the doubt for him to be like, oh, sorry. Yeah. And he goes, no, I meant to. I was done with it. I go, oh, the garbage is right there. Oh. And I'll tell you something. In the moment, I didn't feel the adrenaline and yeah. confrontational but as soon as i said the, the garbage is right there which i was being sincere i was like hey man it's right there i i got this adrenaline rush a oh, little bit and i'll tell you shit. something i liked it and then right after that Andrew he goes dice clay beat the shit out of you no he said sorry and he picked up he threw it away really he yeah. did yeah wow. but i wasn't going up to him being an asshole and being like hey fuck you or like at least my intention at the time wasn't like fuck. was it he was, a big guy he was a he was definitely he definitely was bigger than me Wow, because you're pretty tall. I don't. I there was. I could be wrong, but I wasn't worried about thinking like this guy's gonna punch me now. But I he, also felt like he definitely hated you. He threw the cigarette away. I know, but he's cursing you in his head. Like, you should have kept it going. Him. You should now kiss me. Yeah, where does <laughs> you it should end? Now kiss me, dude. See how far I can get. When I see people doing stuff that feels objectively wrong, yeah, I, I don't. I like getting into it. Really, really. How I many? Feel... How many white supremacist marches have you stopped? Ooh. But that's the thing. I'm not like going out of my way. It's not like this big moral thing where I'm like, I am, you know, Batman standing up for the people that need to and I'll be the bad guy. Yeah. Just if I see something, it's like, what the fuck are you? I yeah. was on the plane and somebody farted. It happens. Uh -huh. But for 45 <laughs> minutes, every like five or so minutes, it happened probably eight times. Yeah. And I'm at a certain point, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I, I know I handled that wrong. I, I know I, I handled it wrong, but I said, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. And the flight attendant came over and knew what I was talking about and brought spray. He goes, I'm so sorry. Wow. I'll go, once this person leaves, I'll go in the bathroom. I go, it's not from the bathroom. It's one of these people. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a Knives Out movie right here. This is great. <laughs> um, this is great. But like, what are you doing? So like the, the, the motivation, you ever doing something and you're excited and then you lose motivation and part of the craft is well you keep doing the joke anyway or you keep writing the thing anyway but like that's part of the process yeah. i don't feel that way with like this kind of shit once i'm no longer invested i'm out <laughs> but in a moment when stop stop doing that yeah well the problem with the farting is you'll never get the culprit it's the it's an invisible crime there are ways are there what are you gonna sniff everybody's crotch you I don't could know. i guess it was this person and the person in front of you me. knew it. I'll tell you how I knew that Please. because when I because I I can't be positive, but it but it was happening. It was so strong, and on planes, like it doesn't smell as much a few seats back. Would sure. you concede this? You have you noticed Probably. this before? Sure, yeah. It was one of these things, and there was a lot of space between us. And when I said and I and I looked over at these people, the other person they could have been a great actor, but the other person was just going. Oh, and they knew, and this person didn't acknowledge, it, and they heard it. <laughs> oh, also, big guy, fat, uh, just a regular looking dad. Okay, okay, a dad uh, fart is a doozy. And the dad was holding a child who I don't. Again, I'm not good with ages, but we'll say give or take a year, three, thirty eight. And the, there's some turbulence, and the kid I didn't see, but from the the thing, uh, fell on the ground. The dad of the no, kid. The kid fell on the ground. Jesus. And he, the kid was crying a little. And picked him up. How how old is this kid? Like uh, three, uh, maybe three. I mean, a, a, a toddler, I think. Three, two, and then picked up the kid, and then was like looking around, and in turn went like this, hit the kids, hit hit, hit the head's oh. kid on the thing, and I'm already thinking like, this 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 guy, this is the farter. Uh huh. This yeah. guy is, is unaware and inconsiderate. He doesn't care. Now I'm not. That's his own kid. He would do that too. What would he do to you? I'll tell hey, you what he would do. To me. He would sit the fuck down. Take some IB guard because yeah. it was stinky. Yeah. And when I get it, when adrenaline goes up, Sponsor. I'm 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 into like, I feel this way in the podcast sometimes. I've had some episodes where it gets a little confrontational. Yeah. Because and it's like, great, go on. What would you do if the guy talks shit back to you? 
I let's go a different way with that scene where Mark is my kid. Maybe maybe we're, he's not my kid in this scene. Let's let's um, let's try it one more time. Let's see what you would actually do here. All right, can I ask a favor of you? Sure. Because I want to play this real. Could you not heighten as quickly? Of course. To be like, oh, I rate my son. It's like, all right, well then, what the fuck? Okay. Make it I a made I made a choice, and the fact that you can't accept that choice. I'm not your mom, dude. Oh. What the fuck, dude? He's getting heavy. What the fuck? All right, he, he's uh, not the farter. Play the music. Okay. Back off, Mom. Thank you. Back off. All right. Uh-oh. Pulling out the knife. I may not be your mother, but I am your biological father. Dada? And the reason I left your mother... <laughs> was because... <laughs> was because I felt judged. <laughs> and I'm sorry that by leaving her... <laughs> I left you. <laughs> I think about it every day. I do. He, does, he doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> oh, couldn't either. Uh, you carry, you, you just else. carry a mustache with I'm you. A prop uh, comic that, was, now. that was great. <laughs> the <laughs> fact you've been walking around New York City with that in your pocket. <laughs> oh, what, what if I need to buy a fake ID? Yeah, good point. All right, go all ahead. Right. Do it. All right. So now. I don't know if you yes. need to be a certain age to buy the I, fake ID. Based on no other. What's that? Never mind. No, I'm making myself look older. So Because people who sell fake IDs, they want to make sure you're still of age. Really? I thought that was the whole point of the fake ID. Unless you're a migrant. Yeah, it was just... I see. Sorry. Continue. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. So, wait. The so, farting guy really got no, no, you. No, let's, uh, we want to take this one more time. One more time. Even you're quick. rolling your eyes. Yeah, one you more don't time. Post this, I understand. Rick, one more time. Mark is now... In this scene, Mark... Uh, as the black... Playing the black shot. Okay. <laughs> is not... I was built to play. Is not my son. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a, it was a son... It was a... Boy and a girl, it's two kids. Okay, but well, you were playing both the black boy and the black Ooh, girl. Black kid. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one right there. Ooh, yeah, right, I'm in the water. Hee hee, I'm all wet. Yeah. Oh yeah, Friday. Excuse me. You are Excuse wet. Me. Sir, what, what's going? Wait, uh, is this? I'm so sorry. I see you're feeling something. Are you guys together? I'm a photographer. And are you? I'm here? a little black kid. <laughs> Woo. I'm just taking. Do you have a problem with photography? I'm trying to. Do you know them? I'm. A, do you have you seen a photographer? Woo. They take pictures of things on the street. Without asking. Do I know a building back there? Without their parents' permission, I'm. I'm gonna. Uh, you got to stop doing that, man. Oh. Um. No, I'm not. I'm gonna get you now. Oh. Because you don't support the arts, and you won't let me pursue my passion, which oh, is photography. Oh, bitch! You don't know me. That's yeah. Fair. I'll. I'll get out of here. That's really I, fucked up, yeah, dude. I'm back sorry. off. I'm back. Sorry. Yep. Officer, this man won't let me photograph these black the kids. You're the cop. You're the cop. Uh-oh, Popo's hey, going. What's going on here? Hey. Okay. New York's finest, baby. Wow. That I got you good. Yeah, you didn't know what to do. Send this to Lord Michaels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you didn't know what to do. You guys ever auditioned for SNL? No, no. Did you, when you were first starting out, did you ever, did, was that a thing that you thought you wanted to do? I would have taken anything. Yeah. Right. No, I was like, I was, I would have loved to do Weekend Update at some point, but that's the only thing I would have Your mom would have yeah. liked that. Oh, well, she would. Back off, dude! <laughs> wow. Your I mom would like anything. you. Would like that because you get to sit in a suit. You get to you get to swirl scotch. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. think your mom would like you better if you wore a suit on stage? <laughs> I'm still doing the same material, but that would probably class it up. Yeah, I don't know. I think the suit look can look really cool. I mean, I'm producing Gary Veter's special, and he, I got him a sick suit. Oh, you went mom on him. I went mom on him. I was like, you're, we're because he does all one-liners, so I thought it would be a cool look for like a one-liner comic. He's kind of you know a what you should do. It should be tight on him the whole uh, whole oh. thing, but then the last 15 minutes you reveal why that he's just naked. That's like, no good, bottom. dude. I think the naked. Oh, you call, tight and you on call the, face. the bottom up, bottoms up. Toward. Naked might be even better. I'm trying to find the pic I of see. it. Yeah, you could call you could call it Gary Vader uh, raw and uncensored. There you go. Bears all. Yeah. Can't find the picture. I'll find it later. I've seen it. He looks great in a suit. He's he looks so cute. cute and little. Yeah, there is suit confidence. I, I've I've gone on stage in a suit a few times, and when I was I was wearing a suit for something, and then I had a show. Yeah. And there is something about suit confidence where, like, if it weren't for me not wanting to wear a suit all the time, I would do it. Yeah, it's it annoying looks good. dry cleaning and all that stuff. Also, it's like you wear the same. How many suits do you want me to have? Yeah. Right. But like there is something that they cast the audience casts you as something that I feel is very beneficial where you could lean into the classy or you could be, uh, you know, like the antithesis of it. But either way, it serves a purpose. Yeah. Like Stanhope will wear like funny blazers and stuff, you know? Oh, yeah. He's got the zoot suit, the weird orange and patterns. We should start wearing suits on stage. 
Yeah, yeah. It's just and you don't have to think about your outfit. You can just pick the suit up, put it on. It looks good. I, women, I think, really like women a guy in love a suit. a suit. Is that true? Yeah. They, uh, they did a poll and they said the way women feel about like a nice tailored suit is how men feel about lingerie. Yeah, dude. You put that suit on, all the pussies are going to be wet at the Rick Glassman show, bro. I have to say, and I'm in a relationship, and I'm not even looking toward this, and I'm not even the funniest person in the world. I'm funniest. One of the... It doesn't matter. I have found that a lot of... Uh, and they tell me, like, girls usually... Like, they do get wet during my shows. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. What, do you put a towel down on all the seats, or how does that work? No, it's just... I have this bit I came up with where... Um, I smash a watermelon. In the oh, front. Mm, that's good stuff. Never heard of that. Yeah. Hmm. You guys Gallagher fans? He had some good wordplay. I was never. I never got into it. He doesn't. He got. He got a bad rap with the sledgematic and the hair and the hat and he the whole did. thing. But he, his wordplay is pretty great. I mean, if there's a, a clip went viral like a week ago. It already has like twenty thousand or twenty million views, and uh, it's clever as shit. I mean, I don't know if it's your cup of jizz, but it is clever. I just remember before I was into comedy and I knew comedians. Like as a kid, I knew Gallagher. Right, we all did. And I remember I used to think he, I used to think it was really funny, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I can't think of one the joke. The bald with the long hair is such a bad look. Yeah, it's a bad look. Russ Ru 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 used to have a great joke. You ever see a bald guy with a ponytail? It looks like all his hair got together and hung itself. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you're going to find the exact clip. It's all over YouTube, but some some dweeb posted it, and it just went viral immediately because it, it still holds up. And I'm not saying it's the funniest shit ever. It's not N-words versus black people, but... Uh, Who's the funniest comedian ever? I don't know. Rodney, maybe? I don't know. Dangerfield's hard to beat for me. I it just... It, you can't... He walks in the room and you're already smiling. Yeah, he's that good. That scene in Easy Money when he when he's singing Feliculi, Felicula, <laughs> it's just insane. It's like he's just singing, but it's funny. I well, did a movie with a, a, an unbelievable Rodney impersonator. Oh, really? Unbelievable. Sounded like him knew all of his jokes, and it just crushed. Wow. He was just crushing. Yeah. Great jokes. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He walks in the room. It's funny because he's a fat, ugly guy who's confident and extremely happy, and that combination... Is, is, he, is he ugly? What are you kidding? He's a ghoul. <laughs> look at the photo. Look at that. He's a wacky looking guy. I mean, he Type in Rodney about Dangerfield it. good looking picture. Look at that. He just looks like a guy to me. Well, he's no Adonis. He looks like a comedian. Good looking. <laughs> yeah, he looks all right. Though. I mean, even there, he looks like hell. He's a gargoyle. <laughs> But, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it was ugly. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. All right? How does that make you feel? <laughs> bad. Makes you feel fucking bad. How long were you breastfed? Rodney you know? in therapy. <laughs> I'm sure there's a video. Right. He, can't, he can't crack. How did it make me feel? You should have seen me last week. Uh, my doctor, bad. Dr. Vinny Von Botts. I asked for a second opinion. He said, hey, you're ugly too. <laughs> if you had to do an SNL audition and do impressions, what would be your three impressions? You got to Rodney. I, Rodney would be, I don't do impressions. Who would you do? Uh, I had I did submit one, and if you want, I could send it to you to put it in. I did one where I did um, Jada Pinkin Smith. <laughs> oh, uh, what do you do? Hey, uh, go slap him. Um, we'll cut to a clip. It was before that stuff. This was oh. like twelve years ago. <laughs> I did um, uh, Denzel Washington. When I get finished with y'all, you be playing basketball on Pelican Bank. 23 hour lockdown. I'm the man up in this beast. You never see the light. Who the fuck do you think you're messing with? I'm the police up in here. You don't just live here. Get calling that shit on me. Hmm. Um, wow. I did. Uh, you don't uh, like to get wet though, huh? Primo, Angel Dust, PCP. Training day? Yeah, I did a different training day. Oh, okay. Yeah, training okay, day. wow. I'm uh, noticing a trend I in some of your picks. Garrett. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh. The big three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> do, you do, right. a, do you do a good Denzel? Um, I don't. I used to. I practice a lot. Well, well. I, would you, I'll send it. You, we'll put a, put a, a moment of it in. Pipe it in. Yeah. All right. Wow. That's a that's a clay like James Adomian. He did like great impressions of really kind of obscure people. Yeah. Although those aren't too obscure, but 
Pinkett. It was good. All right. The Jada Pinkett was good. Hmm. I'd have to see it. Did you think when if you were to make it on here, were you planning on going blackface for the thing? I didn't put out blackface. You don't have to do blackface. But like, uh, isn't Rodney it Dangerfield, you don't have to put on a suit. I know, but isn't it weird for just a white guy to come out and do Jada Pinkett? Yeah, I mean, they didn't book me. Did you shave your head? No. Okay. So it's just you, but you're doing her voice? Kind of. Cut imagine. to the Jada Pinkett Smith one now. Hey. Imagine if you gotten hired and then the Will Smith thing happened. They'd be like, thank God we hired this guy. We can pull him out of the closet and let him do this one thing he does. <laughs> Everyone at home watching is like, that's not Jada Smith. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to make them believe you are that. It just has to be enough of a thing for sure. them to believe that reality. And then you get to like live in that ironic space. Right. But uh, usually on SNL, they look like the yeah, person. Yeah, they throw there. the costume. Well, you put a wig on me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, you could put a wig on me. Yeah. Lose the glasses. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now I see. Oh, it. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of a goose. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what about you? What would your impressions be? Well, I got. I just learned I could do RFK. <laughs> That's one. That's good. Thank you. I could do Donald Duck. That's pretty good. You could do an elephant. <laughs> Where do I sign? All right, good stuff, boy. All right. Couple animals. There's no animals on the on the cast. I've noticed. So somebody's got to do it. How about an owl? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right. These this... sketches are gonna write themselves. Yeah, this is, this is good <laughs> you know, stuff. You were, you were a bird on mine once. I was a bird. Yeah. Oh wait, what was that? I don't remember, but you know. You made me into a bird on your animation. <laughs> yeah, you said you wanted to do. Is this I wanted to be a pigeon. Oh, it was a pigeon. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 a pigeon. We're talking about what animal I would be. You One time, Whitney it. said I should. There should be like an animated show where I voice a pigeon. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, she's like, you should be like a pigeon talking about living in the city. Yeah, and complaining. New York pigeon. Yeah, I like that. What animal would you maybe be? A, what a ferret? <laughs> we'll throw some some uh, Warby Parkers on a ferret, and we got it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That felt anti-Semitic. No, no. No, it didn't. That would be more of a rat. I guess they're both rodents. Um, hold on. What would you be? Maybe an otter. Otter? Yes. Gay with little hair. That's what gays call you're an otter in the gay world. An anteater? You know those restaurants where they're like, they're mean to you? Yes. Yeah, I love those. Is that what it is? You know what would be fun? Is to is to uh, <laughs> three of us to be waiters at that restaurant. And you film it, you know, hidden camera style, and uh, see if because those people they do jokes and they I don't know how good they are, how funny they are, but like for us to like go as hard as possible. No, it's, oh. it's personality driven. There, it's more sass. I, I, there's yeah. a burger place called Paul's, and there's a waitress who's kind of like that. Oh, I remember. Paul's. But that's, it's supposed to be that. Yeah, it's I mean, no, it's not. But she's just kind of sassy. But it it works. It's fun. But yeah, but I, the dicks I is the one where they're like, they're like, uh, they come to your table and they're like, they drop it down, they're like, hurry up and order. They're like, me, yeah, like, yeah. But I w I'd love to do that where it's like, uh, hey, you know, here, order something for me. Hey, both of you guys, order something. Uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna get the milkshake and the cheeseburger. Okay. <laughs> oh, <geez>. Fuck you! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, I didn't wow. want the mayo. Jeez. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Uh, Fuck boy, shit. you didn't Ooh. you didn't take my order. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I your mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Am I your mommy? Woo, doggy. <laughs> there you go. You know, now he's the, coming. Uh, if this was six years ago, I would have I would have uh, for the joke. I know I would have really ch like hit and pushed and done stuff because I thought you guys would have thought it was funny. Yeah. And uh, I'm really proud of myself for not really doing anything too aggressive there. You didn't hide. Wow, him. yeah. Good for you. Good stuff. We've gotten, we've grown up. I used to want to wrestle uh, w when kids would come over when I was younger. <laughs> uh, you went too far. You yeah, they, they stopped coming over. <laughs> yeah. I was that kid. You, yeah. par you paralyzed the kid. No, but I would... I, I would Talk about it. I, Talk about the kid you killed. I did uh, make a kid pass out in my basement. My really? Room. We were wrestling. I put him in a chokehold. Uh, and you made him pass yeah, out. out, and it was so scary because I didn't know that was a thing. He just fell. Oh, you know, what's going my on? But God. the other people were like, "It's okay." He just passed out. It's okay. and I was scared. And he woke up. I don't remember like twenty seconds or ten seconds later or something. <laughs> Two years <laughs> later, and he was like, huh? <laughs> yeah. "Mommy, yeah, now that kid's in therapy." Yeah, yeah, maybe. But he was a really fast dribbler. I remember. Uh -huh. Yeah, he would go real low and dribble real well, low. He was dribbling when you had choked him. Yeah. yeah.
But why did you choke him out? Just you. you I, I thought wrestling. we were wrestling. We were wrestling, and like that's what you do. And and like I, <laughs> you just we were wrestling, and I would, and we also my brother, really like he got boxing gloves in, and uh, the box in the basement, and like his older friends, and they, some of them like to do it. But when you I guys boxed, used to love it. Really, and that I was used, fun. Yeah, um, we used to do we that gloves. too. We did wrestling. No, we didn't box. That's it. Um, yeah, and then then like. Uh, lightsaber fights where i would ask them to chore like i want to choreograph a fight and they're like i don't want to and and i was like no no you know trust me you'll have a good time yeah and like, all right and then they didn't come over again ah damn that'll fuck you up that'll fuck up your childhood but it sounds like you got a little rage in you there fatty no it, it, it felt like uh <laughs> it's what i love about basketball so much i think we talked about this once where like i love being aggressive and playing that way like it doesn't feel like anger. It feels like connection to me. Oh, interesting. Like yeah. talking shit. You know, like when you talk shit with somebody yeah. like, and you go harder and harder. Some people might be like, fuck you and like getting triggered. Or it's, it's just like, it's a competitive. It's just, I've always loved being physical. And like, I just love it. But I, you were, you take it too far sometimes. That's what you yeah, said. Yeah, I, I took it too far a fair amount of times. And you yelled at the guy on the airplane with the baby. I didn't yell at him. I just said, what the, f- what's, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> So it funny was so to me. bad. I nearly really? took. A, I nearly. I, I, went, after I went after a woman behind me. I, it's air justice. I, I look at it. Air as. justice. I think. What a movie. I think civil. Yeah, you have to be great. civilized when you're around other people. I, it's such a peeve of mine. Is you know, enclosed spaces, and someone acts like it's their fucking home. Yeah. It's it's unacceptable. Uh, I would like you to have merch called Air Justice, and it's a silhouette of you like this, but your posture is a little, you know, like this. <laughs> <laughs> and you have you know, your hair on it instead of the bald head. Yeah, I like, I like it. it. That's I mean, good. That's not a joke on your posture. It was more of a Jewish overall thing. I see. Whatever, dude. Uh, what did the person on the plane Fuck behind you. you do that made you? She was gabbing like it was. You know, she. This happens a lot. People get drunk on a, on a. I think I told this story already on the pod. I'll tell a short version. Uh, people, they act like it's their home. She was apparently. Uh, I mean, she was going loud like ah, like scream laughing right behind my. Was she like, watching something? No, she's talking to a guy who I thought they were like flirting and hitting it off, but turns out he was probably annoyed as fuck. Oh, her. I'm sure. She was like kind of a hot older woman stage mom. It turns out, which shocker. How it turns stage out? Mom. Because I thought you were tweeting something about a stage. Yeah, mom. yeah, yeah. Because some guy behind me, I guess, knew who I was, and he saw my tweet where I was like, "God, this fucking human." Behind and what me. he said, I say, yeah. He wrote, he wrote, he wrote something like, "Sam Morell just told me to fuck off," and I said. No, I told the woman. I responded like, "No, I was telling the woman sitting next to you to, to stop talking so loud." I was, I was like, you know, it was pretty reasonable how I responded. I yeah. was like, "Miss, you got to keep it down." That's what yeah, I said. Good for you. Yeah. Would you be able to do that? No, no, not in a million years. I'd give her one of these. Right, and hope that 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 <laughs> satisfied. Hope that did. Now, it. when you say that, are you nervous or you no. feel like I, I would? Need to do I, this? I needed to, and uh, everyone around me was like, "Give me a look, like." Like oh, thanks. that's cool. The, I, I, we were on a flight once cross country to uh, Seattle. It was me, Gary Veter, and Brian, who's my tour manager. And Brian has no fear talking shit to people. He's, we all kind of, Veter will do the same thing. But yeah. there's, there's a woman behind me, and she won't. She's pissed drunk. She gets cut <laughs> off by the guy. She's <laughs> she's just screaming. And it's one of the things where I said it to the I said it to them, and the guy she's screaming to the point where I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. It's insane. The, the people in the front were annoyed. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, Miss, you've had too much to drink. I'm sorry, I can't give you any. Which, by the way, that's a sign, right? Yeah. So then I turn around and I finally, she's screaming and both me and we're looking at each other like, I can't, I have noise canceling headphones on, I'm hearing you. So I go, M- I go, you gotta keep it down. Right. And the guy gives me a look like, okay, but then at the same time, he goes, he goes, we weren't being loud. And I go, you were. And then he goes, he gives me one of these like, I can see him like bubbling with rage, like furious that I just told him to keep it down. Inconsiderate people have no idea, no idea about what they're doing. So then, how do you get some, mad at But that? some people truly don't know. And I could tell you, I have been in, as I'm sure you can imagine, a fair amount of positions where people have said to me, "Hey, shh." Yeah. And my instinct is usually like, "Oh, you know, that's what I, I've been." No, me too. Many times. But I'm that's like, oh, that sorry. is my problem. Is not just that. It's the then the afterwards because then she just keeps doing it and, uh, then, and then Gary realizes it's his turn and he goes lady enough <laughs> and then I can see him doing and then he, Gary, Gary's another New York guy he'll fucking do that and then and his feet are it gets, and then Brian sees that we're losing it and Brian's on the other side of her so Brian or you know the tour manager Brian Hubbard who I love uh, 
basically he he gets annoyed with her she kicks a bottle in his direction like just no manners and he goes you're trash lady Whoa, you're trash oh you're trash and it's going on now and then of course she pulls the and thing he sits as next door he's sitting next to her he's in they're both aisle so then he does the uh when when we land finally after we all fucking lose it on the the flight attendant's like i'm so sorry he, he hates her too what, what are you gonna do i feel bad he's got to deal with her yeah so then we land she does a thing like do you guys hate me oh and it's now like, i do it's like, like what do you want out of this interaction yeah what do you think what, what do you want from us she Did wants you, you to that? not hate her yeah play the play the music <laughs> lead him in with do you guys hate me do you guys hate me I don't hate just you. Mm. I hate everything you represent. Mm. You're an inconsiderate twat. Wow. You probably had a horrible, horrible father. Mm -hmm. Bad mother, too, I would guess. Yeah. You never grew out of it. You never got the attention you seeked. That's okay. why on a flight, you're so loud that everyone around you has to hear the most mundane thoughts you think are interesting. So you drink yourself into a stupor. Nothing I like less than a drunk who can't handle their shit. Uh -huh. Learn how to drink if you're going to drink. Be a civilized fucking adult. Don't ruin my flight, and don't make it so I can't watch the movie Tomcat starring Jerry O'Connell on this flight. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you do hate me then. Now I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Thanks a lot, comedian guy. Funny man causes death on <laughs> Seattle Air flight. Justice. Air justice. Coming to CNN this fall. I had a peeve. I worked on a peeve. I had something He's got there. a peeve. Any peeve? Oof. Any peeves? You guys have any peeves? You know, my dad was talking to me the other day. I forgot you guys do this because um, he he said I got a whole bunch of pet peeves. My dad we podcast together sometimes, and uh, really, I was uh, yeah, uh, uh, and uh, a fair amount actually. Wow. And uh, I was talking to him about they might want to move and get a uh, place in California, and and uh, we're talking about money. I'm like, I'll give you my Patreon. And why don't you just do? And he like maybe once. And he was like, I think maybe I want to do one where I just talk about all my pet peeves. Hey. So I, I don't remember what they were. What uh, grinds but, his gears. But I'm gonna uh, get him on the horn. All right, hey, Mr. Glass. Yeah. I've met him. He's a smooth, cool dude. Owns a, a rug store out in Cleveland. If you're looking for just the right flooring, you need choices. And at Marshall Carpet One you'll find thousands of choices, including carpet, hardwood, rugs, and luxury vinyl. So make the right choice and visit Marshall Carpet One and Rug Gallery. And we promise, with more than 50 years as a family-owned business, we've got you covered! I miss you so much already that I'm home and you're not here. I miss you too, but um, go ahead. I was just I was just at home. <laughs> uh, I'm on a, on a podcast with a uh, with one guy who, who has no relationship with his dad, and the other one his I mom have... judges him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sam Morell and Mark Norman, very different fathers. Oh, hey, Mr. Glassman. Yeah. Those two guys need no introduction, even with this seventy year old Jew. Oh, I love this guy. I wish you were my dad. <laughs> Hands off, dude. <laughs> sorry, sorry. He's a dilf. Um, so they end their podcast all the time with pet peeves, and and I know you have a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, here here's my lady. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. So, you know when someone is on their phone or something, go. You got to see this. They want to show you a video. They want to show you an Instagram post. They want to show you a text. Right. And they yep. go. You got to see this. So okay, I drop everything I'm doing and I'm going over to see it. And it takes them five minutes ah, to find the fucking thing. That's a great one. Okay. I hate that. Great peeve. You got another one? We I, like that peeve. I love it. I, I'm going to go off his peeve oh, for a Sam second. Go off I'm going off that. that for a second. I love that. I had a guy in the street. Love when someone says, you know, hey, I love your comedy. Can I take a pic? Always happy to do it. Dad, could you but, hear? Yeah, I can. But this guy, this is, this is a classic thing. They can't figure out their fucking phone. Oh, classic. How hard is it? I could figure out your phone. <laughs> yes. The guy's like, oh. You don't need to unlock it. Uh, uh, wait, what do I do? You've never taken a picture? I know. I know. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever take someone else's phone to do it for him? I've done it, yeah. When yeah. they take it too long, I'm like, oh, give it to me, and I Especially do the selfie. Drunks. Yeah. Yeah, the worst is when they got to flip it around. They're like, how do I make it not look at that thing over there? Look at it me. And I'm like, just push the flip around button. It's right there. Look at this, Dad. We're part of the game now. 
Yeah, I know it. So here, here's another one. Okay? <laughs> I love this. And you guys, you're in the city, so you don't drive that much, okay? But use your fucking turn signal. Yeah! Here, here. Okay. Boy, these That's are great. What they're there for. I think you got a podcast on your hands there, Mr. Glassy. Uh, listen, guys, I, I'm moving to the, the to Palm Desert next year, Woo! and I need supplement. I need supplemental income in order to do it. So will you guys go on my dad's out. Patreon at some point? I, I will. Yeah. I don't know where Palm Desert is. Well, well, well you could you'll, you'll do it zoom. on the phone. Okay. Yeah. I'll zoom in, Pops. All right, Dad, you just got yourself some big guests on your Patreon. Those are big guests, and I'm ready for it. Thanks, dudes. <laughs> Thanks, dudes. Ah, thank you, Dad. This podcast. All right, bye, bye. Oh, is there anything you want to plug? <laughs> you got some uh, dates? Any deals on the carpets? How about here's the title? How about what what chaps the ass of Mr. Glass? I know this. I did get a great like offer it. from HBO. Oh yeah, what's the deal? Nine ninety five a month. Yeah. Uh, we, mu uh, uh, we must say that's a, that's a, that's an Amir joke that that uh, oh. we do all the time. Oh, okay. I <laughs> thought right. I thought bye he bye. came up with that. Talk to you later. Blow him. Bye. No, Amir. Uh, oh no, that's not an Amir joke. That's um. Amir cat. That's uh, Fraser Smith, and we told uh. that we told that joke once with Amir. What's Fra the joke? Uh, he goes. Uh, 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 I'm really excited, guys. Things are going well. I just got a uh, uh, I just got a new deal from H by, for, with HBO. Yeah, uh, and they know, applaud. And, yeah. yeah, and then you know uh, that's funny. F you know, twenty whatever the month is. A month. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Yeah, Fraser. Liam McEnany used to have a joke like, oh, back in the day where he'd say, uh, "I just signed a deal with Disney," and everyone would clap and he'd go, "That I have to stay uh, 500 feet from their parking lot." Ah, uh, nice. Another another misdirect. What yeah. happened to that guy? I think he's I heard he, you got too close to Disney and. There you go. Yeah. I, I, turns out that wasn't a joke. Yeah, dude. Oh, Which is the, the name boot. of my special. He got the puss in boots. <laughs> turns out there's no jokes. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen a few of those. They're out there. I got I got another peeve, <laughs> if you guys are ready. Can I, can I give another peeve? Yeah. yeah. I got a thing happening, and this is summer in New York, so it'll happen uh, frequently. To conserve, they conserve air conditioning in certain old New York buildings. Mm -hmm. And they just conserve it. So I'll just wake up covered in sweat, like, what the fuck? And then they're like, I'll get an email the next day, like, we had to conserve air oh. just so it doesn't black out. Because these are like old units, right. I think. But you're like, you know what conserving, it means I don't have air. Yeah. <laughs> that means there's no air and I'm fucking sweating. Wow. In the middle of the night, too, when you're not expecting it. That's fucked Although up. Although I think. You're not expecting the middle of the night, do you, Mark? No. That's when they get you. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, though, that's the one good thing is. I, I felt like I was coming down with something this weekend, oh. and I feel like I sweated out from the fucking... Oh. Fucking, it's a good thing. But okay. That's a thing you're supposed to do when you're not feeling well. Sweat it out. Schwitz. That's why kids in sweatshops never get sick. Is that true? Oh, yeah. Those iPhones that keep on a pumping. And yeah. Nikes. I don't think they get sick days. That's true, too. I don't think they're like, you know what? I'm not going to come in today. I think they probably... Yeah, they're coming See, that's in. another thing that, like, if I were walking around and then I saw kids forcing being forced to do this type of work i would like i would need to do something but right, i know let's, it's happening let's act it out right now mark's All a kid mark's no, a kid i don't none of these act outs aren't playing well, i'll do it because you're great at the it. the act outs aren't playing today. they're working buddy all right so so you what's going on i'm here? the kid i'm using my little chinese Can I at least fingers? get my point out before this act out okay sure. sure what i'm saying is but like knowing it's happening i'm not i'm still using iphone i'm not doing anything so, like, I think it's wrong, and I would do something if it was in front of me, sure, I think. Sure, sure. But, like, knowing it's happening, it's like, I, I don't... Like, if, if I saw Lizzo go up to another dancer... I don't care about Lizzo. Uh, oh, what I'm saying, boy. if I saw it, if I were there, and Lizzo goes up to somebody and grabs her tits and be like, Dance, bitch! I would be like, Lizzo, what are you doing? Yeah. But now I hear that it's happening. It's like, I don't know. It's not my... I, I doesn't... I'm not in. It doesn't concern me right now. You're what we call a proximity activist. Yeah. It's got to yeah. be right in your vicinity. Yeah. So if you were alive in the 1940s and you read about the Holocaust, you wouldn't care. Okay. First of all, there's a difference between not caring and not doing anything about it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you wouldn't do anything about the Holocaust? Well, uh, I, 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 would take, I would take people in, but I'm not enlisting. Mm. <laughs> well, that would travel. That would require travel. Yeah. yeah it's proximity. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You know what? I better go take arms. No, but like no legs. But, <laughs> but if you know, if like 
if the underground railroad was happening around me and then uh, we, the and, subway and people were like hey you, have you seen patriot which yeah. by the way i rewatched the first i just recently. rewatched it too holy shit now he's an anti-semite i could get behind yeah that yeah. is a movie man this guy fucking likes what women want too that's a turd of a that's film right you that was our first it. argument oh, that's a great that's, our first I also argument like nancy myers what women want is a solid rom-com yeah well, it's the premise, a solid rom-com. The premise is great. Every guy's wanting to know what a woman's thinking. I know what they're yeah. thinking. Damn. What's going on with that guy? Yeah, look at that mop yeah. of curls. But uh, uh, Patriot, when, when uh, spoiler alert kind of, when when the f- something happens to one of his sons, yeah. and then they grab the Heath Ledger's character, yes. and, they go, and he has to get his other two little boys, and he goes, and we don't, we don't know who his character is yet. He's a but, badass. Yeah, and he fought like dirty. He fought like with with axes Axe. and in the woods not the straight up you shoot we shoot yes. and he just went and they called him the ghost and he just have you seen this movie I haven't seen it bro oh. it's I'm on the plane watching it I've seen it so many times and I'm out loud I'm going holy shit it's basically John Wick in colonial times yes mm. it's so good it's fun to watch it's a dude flick with history and axes and, he, and he's and he has like his little boys like listen um you follow your older brother and his older brother's probably like 13 the young one's like 10 or yeah, so and you yeah. know i'm not great with ages no, and no, it's just like and then they go in the trees charges. and they set the guns and he goes and they're doing the throw in the and then the kids there was just this dad they don't know anything about him and then they see him just like fucking go into town and there's the blood is coming up and they're just and then just the shot he's going nuts and because one of his kids just spoiler alert got shot and killed and you never saw this in him and then you just see all the sons including the adult one that just like they'd never seen this before and it's just i'm goosebumps right now you just see them like this rl stein <laughs> like they can't believe yeah, what just great. happened yeah well this is you if one more fart happens on a jet blue flight you're going <laughs> well, yeah, full yeah, gibson on the, yeah. someone's ass with two uh, axes body but, spray um, what i'm saying is like if there's soldiers coming around here and like need people need protection, there's a decent chance I'm gonna be at least you could hide in here. Yeah, but I'm not taking a flight. I get it. Yeah, I was just trying to bait you. I wouldn't either. Well, you're a masturbator. I'll tell you that. Yeah, much. that was a great rant yeah, there too. Off. And we got a pro Gibson Jew over here, which is rare. Well, pro Patreon, pro what women want, and pro daddy's home too. And propane. Yeah, you're do like uh, uh, Beavis and Butthead. What's that guy's name? Beavis. No, what's Butthead. The, you know the guy that did uh, uh oh, Mike Judge? Yeah. Mike Judge. Yeah, but the King of the Hill Man. Oh, oh Hank Hill. Um did you guys see Daddy's Home too? No, is it good? Well, well, what is this? The, the, the thumbs down edition of Siskel? <laughs> you give us all these horseshit <laughs> movies. Horse Daddy's movie? Home Have you too? seen it? Daddy's Home too? No, I didn't see the first one. I couldn't understand the oh, second uh, one. Uh, uh, if you, comment in here if not only Pull if you've it seen it. Daddy's Home 2 with Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, I thought is, it was a, is, I'm thinking a Boss Baby. No, it's legitimately. <laughs> he thought he was plugging Boss really Baby on here. Oh, it's another Gibson. That's John a, Lithgow and Mel Gibson that's play a, the that's parents a great, of Wahlberg. Uh, and, and that's Wahlberg. a great guy. A guy, guy who goes on adult podcasts. You haven't seen Boss Baby 2? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? You haven't that's seen actually Baby's a fun kids? podcast just around Boss Baby. And when he goes on other podcasts, that's all he talks about. <laughs> Kobe Bryant's hey, in this? Well, welcome to the so. Boss Baby cast Dude, here, guys. He is legitimately <laughs> very, very funny. Why wow, did no one gal, talk about Great it? cast. It's great. It's a great movie. Look, go to hit the Rotten Tomatoes. Who's in the first I'm curious. One? I want the audience score. Uh, Wahlberg and, and Will Ferrell. Okay, got it. I'm telling you, Kobe Bryant. Go, go down. Uh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Go up. Yeah, you're right. Kobe Bryant. What? Pull up the Rotten Tomatoes. Lean Bill Neeson. Burr. I don't remember any of that. Bill Burr's in it. Yeah, Bill Burr's uh, played a uh, patron in a movie theater. Oh, uh, what a cast. Lithgow's yeah, great. You thumbs down on me just because you haven't heard of it yet. I never, it's got, it's it's got a fat 21%. 21% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, a lot of comedies. Right, well, go, go to the audience score. That's what I want to know. 75%? 75 by the audience. That's pretty good. That's a C+. 51. Hey. Look, at, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, John Cena. I'm telling you, this movie is very funny. Maybe I'll give it a shot. All right, we'll give it a shot. I gotta, I'm Have on a plane tomorrow. What do you think? Oh shit! He liked the first one. What do you think of? Be Pinkley? honest. If he wasn't here, what, if, if I just said before he built it up like this, I was like, "What do you think of Daddy's Home too? What would you say? Correct. What do really? you think of Patriot? Great. You know, he's never heard Daddy's Home. All right. Well, do you have a pet peeve you want to get out or no? Uh, no, we gotta go. This is this has been. All right. We we got places to be. We're, we're rocking. Buddy. I got a show in uh, fifty minutes. Let me know what you think Where, where's your show? show? New York Comedy Club. Oh fuck that! It takes ten minutes to get there. All right. Well, I'd like to prepare, but yeah. Uh, oh, there a... it is. It's, we got the trailer. 
to cover up his butt quack. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'm in. That's all I needed. I'm sold. But, uh, oh, thank you. Collect all five. Ooh, hey, I look pretty cool with Venom here. Yeah, that's a good pick. Nice. I got the uh, the abs. I got a little guy on my shoulder. Who's that guy? Uh, so I have. I always have a goblin in every card because that's my uh, like my mascot. Oh, fun! So the goblin takes on different forms. Okay. Um, are you these? Got... So I get one of each. Yeah. Uh, Same. If, if Thank you want, you. Uh, if you like these, not many people are collectors. I am, but if you are, I could. I'll be happy to send you a set. They're very. They're all very cool. All right. All right. Um, but uh, we just had the workaholics. They're all uh, Fantastic Four. Awesome. Oh, fun. Who's the, I, I who's the invisible shit. woman? Um, uh, Anders. Adam Devine. Hmm. Uh, no, he's the the thing. He, he was on uh, Theo's pod. It was a great listen. Yeah, I was listening to a clip. He said Marvel movies killed the... Uh, oh, yeah, that's great. Killed comedies. Let me see. And if you swipe, you can see the card version. Oh, yeah, right there. Wow. Not, look at the top one where you see oh, all of Dusty them together. Slay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Aren't those cool? Very yeah. cool. You got Elon Musk in the bottom right. That's not bad. It does look like Elon Musk. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, boys. All well, right. Plug some stuff, man. Do you got, you got some Oh, I thought we were done. Well, you got to plug. Um, just take your shoes off podcast or my Instagram or Glass or whatever, you know. YouTube great, page. great pod. One of the most fun pods. Oh, Santino. I mean, it's, um, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, Santino looks great. I love that. Yeah, Sabretooth and Toad. Go to the full the full picture of it. Isn't that cool? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, Scott cool. Hepburn draws these. He's a Marvel illustrator. He's fucking incredible. Wow. He's All incredible. Right, Hepburn. Oh, Eric Griffin. I did, looks I did great. Uh, uh Oh, that's Whoa. perfect. Go go back uh to Vegas Dads, click that one. That's my dad and my cousin Teddy and Uncle Bob and stuff. Made him uh, Dragon Ball Z guys. That's what your dad does look like. Wow, they captured it. Cool, right? Very cool. Anyway, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm sure you guys will leave a lot of this in, so thanks to the audience for your patience. For those of you who finished, we had a lot of downbeats, but I'll tell you something. Yeah. I only see you guys when we do this stuff. I would love to see you more. Um, well, hit me up, it was man. A pleasure to pleasure doing business. I'll be going to um, uh, get some pastrami sandwiches. I'm coming to the city once nice. or twice a week to get a sandwich. I'll nice. let you know here in town. If Please. You guys want to go. I would love to get Let's a sandwich with you. Yeah, man. Anytime. The edits on your pod are incredible. It's you say, like the edits on my pod. You should check out Sarge's Deli. Ooh. A lot of people are a cat's deli in, in Sarge's in New York. is good. Mark and I have been to Sarge's. Sarge's together. is my favorite pastrami in the city. Okay. Really? Yeah. You go brown mustard? I don't do mustard. Uh, you yeah. know what I do? I, like I, uh, I get a potato pancake and I dip it in applesauce. Oh. The whole thing. Come on. It's fucking weird, dude. I got, you know, I fuck got my you. quirks. And that's fucked yeah. up. But fuck. I'll tell you something. What the fuck? I take a green pill when I'm doing that. You better yeah. believe it. That'll really You better take a blue a pill if you ever want to see your dick get hard again after eating Woo! that food right there. Don't take a red pill. You'll be yeah. on Andrew Tate's pod. You guys are really good at what you do. Oh, come on. Well, I'm off the pill. You know, let me tell you something your mother has never told you. Oh, God. <laughs> I... I, I wouldn't do what you do because that's not who I am, but I really respect what you do and I think No, she does. She does. I was fucking around. She's very good. She's a fan. She 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 comes to shows. No, no. I would. I did a thing during the pandemic where are I would you bounce your mom breast implants. Yeah, those are actually hers. She took them out. I'm not gonna get the feeling when they're inside her, so I just get my fix in now. Is that real? You you got you got your mom a breast. Bought my mom some titties. He's a good. What was son. the most expensive thing you bought somebody a member of your family? Jeez, I don't know. I what gave my you? brother a kidney. Is that real? Well, actually, oh, I fucked that up. I I took his kid. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is completely different things. What are you doing with the kid? Right. You like this? You check out more episodes of Are We Drunk next week. We Are have we on comedian. Uh, we might be drunk. Hey, we have on comedian on Bill Bellamy. When is Thanks. this? What, when's this? <laughs> Bethlehem uh, in York, Pennsylvania this weekend. I got uh, Toronto JFL. Uh, the September 21st Chicago Theater September 30th Phoenix fucking all over the place and you uh, just Pittsburgh. played over Madison Square how'd that go that's November Cleveland uh, Columbus Cincinnati Wait, Indianapolis when you in uh, that's home turf I'll be there where are you playing uh, the Mimi Ohio Theater Mimi I'm so narcissistic Mimi 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 me. <laughs> Do you know that venue? I don't, but I'm sure down Cleveland. Uh, 
after New York is the biggest theater because Broadway's first stop when they tour is Cleveland. It's a very big. Uh, I went district. to I went to see a, a show there once. They have Cleveland. really old, beautiful, beautiful, cool theater. So I'm not sure which one that is, but I bet you it's awesome. God, what did I see there it was like the time you play. The, the art you know, I, in that I just town. I was just playing Hilarities this past wow, weekend, and man. I, I don't remember hilarities. who it was, but somebody there said how, that you were that they love you there and they want you to come back, but like, I think he's too big to do that now. You can uh, pop in for I'll, a night. I might pop in. I love uh, Nick and Sam and everyone. Yeah. Hilarities Good eggs and, yeah. over there. It's just it's one of the best clubs in the country. Yeah, I agree. I great, great. Just gonna say, great food, and, and they're just, not shy about giving it away either. They're great. Yeah, they're great dudes. There's your Broadway. It's for just you. a classic. It's a classic club. Yeah, it's like that's they just cool, care. man. That's so cool that you guys play theaters. And the big one is the MSG Theater, November fourth, New York City, motherfuckers, come out. Hell yeah. We'll see what you all you? in hell. I'm uh, I'm doing. I'll be in Europe when this comes out. So come out, Lisbon, Dublin, Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Glasgow, Berlin, uh, Manchester, London, Birmingham, Antwerp. Come on, it's gonna be a whopper. Say hello, queef it up. Then I'm Hershey. coming to DC, yeah. Hershey. Uh, what else we got? Cincinnati, Louisville, Chesterville, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri. All kinds of fun stuff. Oklahoma City, Dallas, Portland, one. Providence, Ooh, Cleveland. Where, are you in Cleveland? where, are where you am playing? I in Cleveland? The Agora. Ooh. I've been there before. It's fun. Denver, 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 Grand Rapids, Grand Junction, Mobile, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama, Nola. Hello, Sacramento, Santa Rosa, Omaha. How much how much new do you think from like from not in the special are you on? Right now I got about twenty five. Wait, what was the question? How, like he just had a special come out. Uh, on, yeah, but what did you ask? How much is brand new from the show? Twenty five. Meeting the five, show that you're doing now. Yeah. But but this is September, so I bet I'll have thirty five forty by then. Oh yeah. But is 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 the other twenty twenty five from your special brand or brand new? Yeah. No, so I'm confused. I've, what you're asking? I was asking like how much brand new stuff. Isn't it all new? Well, no, you gotta you gotta lean on the much? old shit for a second. I mean, he just had one come out. But what I'm saying is, are you you're still doing a half hour of the stuff that was on your special? No, I've been riffing, crowd working. Yeah, that's new. It's not great. I have jokes, but I they're not. You told me that last time we did this. Yeah, you're like people saw you, you're like, oh, that's. And you're like, get the process. I know. It's not. I hate. The I hate. Process, I like to go out that's and the kill thing. it. You gotta keep. Bur- I mean, I'm I'm thinking. About, I was gonna tape. Like January, February, and I just pushed my next special taping to March. I think. Hey, you know? there you go. Where are you doing like, it? Boston. Wilbur? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do it. Smart. Hold on. Oh, it was a, it was a, a wife, a f- girlfriend fart. Sorry. All right, well, that's a good way to end it. <laughs> okay. Love you, Rick. Rick, you're the man. Sunday's the day for my next bender. A bit of fever wreck, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon, and Norman's talking shit about the fucking post. Doesn't look like I remember her And I